How you doing? I'm Jimmy McDougal, but I used to be Jimmy Falcone, a respected New York businessman in the gangster and gangster-related industries. Then I whacked my boss and ratted out everyone I knew to save my uncle's life. Now, ratting out the mob is not as glamorous as you think. Before the trial, they stick you in a federal safe house on an army base so no one can get to you. But that doesn't mean they don't try. Jimmy, you killed the dawn. A simple apology ain't gonna cut it. Hey! I offered to do the eulogy. I wasn't the one who said that's in bad taste. It was the family consigliere. His coming to see me could only mean danger, but it was still nice to have a visitor. You know, Jimmy, back in the Roman Empire, and in Godfather too, when somebody messed up the way you just did, they were given a way to provide for their wife and kids for the rest of their lives. All he had to do was kill themselves before the trial. Over my dead body, you son of a bitch! Said with all respect, you a man in your position. Look, Jimmy, I've always liked you. In fact, I went to the mat for you to help your family. Help me help you. Wow, when does the guy who doesn't like me get here? Listen, it'll be very embarrassing for me to go back and say you won't honor this request. If you don't do this, I will dedicate my life to hunting you down. You and your family will never know a moment's peace the rest of your days. How about the nights? Can we get the nights off? It was the hardest decision I ever had to make. All right. I'll do it. Pass it over. Turns out, it was an easier decision than I thought. So, here I am with my wife and kids alive and well in vagina... Regina. ...Saskatchewan. But if you don't think that's pretty much the same as being dead, forget about it! Let me tell you something about a friend of ours named Jimmy. I made the wise guy and the capo with the gambini. But when he found out that they'd be whacking Uncle Cheech, he'd take the boss, he threw him from the 19th floor suite. Wasn't much along till the mob all wants him dead. So Jimmy had no choice but to talk to all the feds. The feds say they heard that they could use him as a pawn. So he ratted out his friends and moved to Saskatchewan. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. Jimmy Falcone has done it. He has won the Masters. He wears the green jacket. He wishes it was a blue jacket to offset his eyes, but whatever. Let's hear from the champion. I knew that if there was a day without snow, that I could win this. I did it for my wife, Cookie. Cookie! Cookie! Breakfast is ready. What's your problem? The sun's shining, temperatures above zero? You know that ain't gonna last. I'm off to the food court at the mall to hang out, but not eat. You are not going out dressed like that, young lady. There's a reason they call you Privates Privates. Fine! God! I'll be at the Science Center. They have a new exhibit on nanotubes. Petey, what did I tell you about hanging around those kinds of places? Don't ask, don't tell. I'll be home in time for dinner. I'm not making dinner, and don't be late! You okay, Cook? Like you care! All right, Jimmy. I dusted off the clubs. I've been working on my swing. Get a load of this. Who's handicapped now, you son of a bitch? Save it for the course, Cheech. Tea time's in 20, and no way I'm gonna be late. Oh, sure, go have your fun. I'll just stay here and do what I did yesterday, and the day before, and the day before that. Nothing. All right, well, try to find some time for yourself. Don't you get it? I'm bored out of my mind. I can't talk to my friends, my sister. There's no good shopping. I'm going crazy here. Well, you gotta do something. Find a hobby, like I got golf, or get a job. One of those will shut you up. But what am I supposed to do? I ain't worked since we got married. What about back when we was kids that summer in Atlantic City? You had a job then, and you were very respected in the community. You mean a fortune teller's assistant? Yeah. Working for Madam Scamia. Oh, I love that job. That cute little kiosk on the boardwalk, all those scarves you got to wear, talking European, not having to shave. <laughs> those were good times. So why don't we open your own shop here in Vagina? Oh, I couldn't. I don't have the gift. Madam Scamia, she had the gift. She could see things years into the future. She was a special, special lady with a God-given talent. We could fake it. I could do that. Then it's settled. We'll dip into the nest egg, find you a nice place, and get you all set up. But first, I ain't missing this gorgeous weather.
Come on, Cheech, let's hit the links. You know what, baby? Your needs come first. Okay, Teresa, you're at reception, you distract the clients. Gina, you pick their pockets and get their info. Cheech is on sound, Jimmy, your lights and smoke machine. All right, let's do a practice run. Teresa, you be the customer. Hello, I'm the customer. I would like to know my fortune. Madam Cookie will tell you what she sees. Please, sit. Testing. Testing. I am the ghost of the dead person that you know. Not yet, Cheech. Just the mood music to start. And don't say testing. <coughs> Down a notch on the smoke machine, Jimmy! Her name is Teresa McDougal. Your name is Teresa McDougal. She lives at 1234 Jim Carrey Lane. You live at 1234 Jim Carrey Lane. She is 25 years of age. You're 25. What? 25? <gasps> Gina, you weren't supposed to pick my fake ID. Mom's gonna kill me now. No, I'm not. I can appreciate a good fake ID. I went to my first bar when I was seven. Okay, everyone, clients will be coming soon. Teresa, show a little more cleavage. Jimmy, thank you so much for this. I'm so happy. I feel like I was born to do this. Hey, my money's gone. Gina, you stole my money. Ma told me to. No, sweetie, you misunderstood. Get their information, not their money. We're running a legitimate scam here. Can you believe it? I thought she was totally gonna read me out about my fake ID. Yeah, and I thought she was gonna make me give you back your money. I know, right? Wait, hey! Oh, girls, where are my magical assistants? Just look at it, Cheech. I ain't seen Cookie this happy since that summer she was on Prozac. I know what you're up to, gentlemen, and I shan't allow it. The good citizens of Saskatchewan deserve better than to be taken in by your flim-flam confidence games. Hey, this is a legitimate business. Why, you don't believe in the supernatural? You want to know what I believe, Jimmy? I'll tell you what I believe. I believe in a Canada true north, strong and free. Universal health care. The metric system. The letter Z. That Saturday night was made for hockey. I believe Keanu Reeves is highly underrated. I believe if I were a woman and I didn't have the ability to wrap my legs around my neck, I would never take my boyfriend to see Cirque du Soleil. I believe in football with three downs, two fours of beer and maple syrup. And I believe that Rush is the single greatest band of all time. Uh, so we can stay open? I believe we're about to find out. You can try to distract me all you want, Teresa, but until you reach legal age, I see only your face. Nice eyes. Bad me, bad. You'd better not be trying to pick my pocket, young Gina. When I grow up, I want to be a Mountie just like you. You and 30 million other Canadians. Oh, Special Agent McCool, my very first customer. You look so dapper today. Oh, that doesn't make you psychic, Cookie. It only makes you observant. No, you look good enough to eat. I'd love to put you on a cracker. Or a cookie. <laughs> oh! Take it easy, you big idiot. I'm just buttering up the customer. Let's cut to the chase, Cookie. Stop that. We'll have none of that cheesy light and sound show here, thank you. All right, Madam Cookie, it's just you and me now. Dazzle me. I see... I see... red? Your favorite color is red? I, I, I see leaves, uh, oak leaves, green leaves, a maple leaf. You're very patriotic. Just as I thought. You're a fake, a phony, a fraud. You'll leave me no choice but to shut you down. No, 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 I can do this. Uh, you're having lunch. The menu is in a foreign language you don't understand. Uh, the milk in your tea is sour. A uh, baby cries. A uh, waiter drops a tray. There's a mouse tail in your soup. Uh, a homely woman in a blue dress asks you for change. That's so general it can apply to anyone. Not the standard Mandarin dialect that I studied in college. 
The milk for your tea is sour. Oh, I'm sure it's just a coincidence. Baby cries. The waiter drops a tray. A mouse tail in my soup! Impossible! You got change for a five? I can't wait to tell Cookie how he snowed that fed. Yeah. How stupid did he look? If only she could have been there. She loves a good short con more than anyone. Jimmy, you won't believe it. McCool told me all my predictions came true. I have the gift. I actually have the gift. Just like Madame Scamia. She always said I would, but I never thought I did. But I do. I have the gift. What? You think you have the gift? Word's already spreading. I'm booked solid for a week. This is terrible. What are you talking about? She has the gift. No, she doesn't. She just thinks she does because of what we did. Now we gotta keep making her predictions come true. Jeez, Jimmy, that's gonna take up a lot of time. I know, but look how happy she is. Shh! I'm getting something. Pluto will be a planet again. Okay, Jimmy. Let's get to work. So, if we all just keep making her think she has the gift, everything will be beautiful. But that's deceitful. A white lie is still a lie. Don't you get it? When your mother's happy, we all get to be happy. So we gotta do whatever it takes to keep her this way. No kidding. I swore this morning and she didn't say a f thing. Hey, Cook, tell us about work. What kind of predictions did you make and to whom specifically? Oh, I can't say. Psychic client confidentiality and all that. Oh, what the hell. I told Mrs. Campbell she'd find $10 inside a new sofa. I told Mr. Peterson he'd have a scooter accident. I told Mr. Chan his son will set a new record at his hockey game. I told old lady Johnson she'll get pregnant. I got this one, Jimmy. Nothing like a nice, relaxing game of golf after a long day of bullshitting your wife. Hey, how'd you get all this time off work anyway? I found a sub. Okay, legs shoulder width apart. Slight bend at the knees. You know, Cheech, it's funny. They took away my identity. They took away my livelihood. They took away everything that made me me. But the one thing they couldn't take was this game and my love for it. Mother f sucking! You're right, Jimmy. This is relaxing. You'll win a raffle, you'll be attacked by a goose, you'll break your leg in a freak fondue accident, you never ride a tandem bicycle. Come on, people, give me a challenge here. She was really good. Want to come over for some fondue? Sure, we'll take my bike. It's built for two. I appreciate your seeing me on such short notice, Madam Cookie. I was hoping you could help me solve a case. I never thought I'd say these words, but I can't do it. Really? Because I picture you doing it all the time. <laughs> it seems there's been a rash of convenience store robberies and I have yet to be able to gain a description of a suspect. The only lead I have is this handkerchief. Give me a hand. Don't you need to hold the handkerchief? Shush, 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 shush. We don't have time for this. Ever. But anything you could tell me would be greatly appreciated. Of course. Let's begin. Yes, yes. I see someone, I, a man, a middle-aged man, white, slight build, dark eyes, dark short hair, and a mustache. Madam Cookie has spoken. Thank you, Madam Cookie. You've been a great help. All right, boys, we're looking for Hitler. For Canada! And Mounties shouting in unison! Okay, now you do me. Get a load of this! Zero chance of snow! Zero! From the top of 5,000, no less! And I read it on the internet, so you know it's true! Let's go! Uh, I don't know, Jimmy. I'm looking at my itinerary. I got Wheel of Fortune at 10, Andy of Mayberry at 10.30, and scratching my nuts at 11. No, we gotta go now. It could snow any second. But the Doppler said it won't. I can't take the chance! If I don't get some golf in soon, I'm gonna go crazy. 
All I do anymore is run around town making my wife think she's a psychic. I need this! Good news, Jimmy. I scratched my nuts while you were choking me. I'm good to go. Hold it! Nobody move! I had a dream. Not like Petey's, I hope. Oh, English, oh, math, oh, science! Oh, oh, oh! In the dream, we were at a carnival, and the Grim Reaper shot at us seven times! It means seven attempts will be made on one of our lives! If anyone leaves this house today, they'll be in mortal danger! Come on, Cook. Dreams don't mean nothing. I had a dream once that the toilet turned into a dragon. I still sit on a john every morning. Ma, I can't stay home all day. Me either! I got a thing and a thing. I can't say more. Mother, dreams are simply manifestations of our unconscious desires. Freud says that our conscious mind keeps our primal subconscious wants and needs suppressed. Dreams merely represent the repressed urges released when we sleep. Freud also said you want to do your mom. Do you want to do your mom, Petey? Is that what you want? Do you want to do your mom? Uh... There's no good answer, so shut up! This ain't any of that science mumbo-jumbo. This is fact! I got the gift, I had the dream, and you don't mess with the spirits! So no one sets foot outside this house today. Madam Cookie has spoken. I had a dream about me, you, and your sister. We never did that one. Well, Pops, you can't keep us locked up in here. It's child abuse. We got stuff to do. Look, we all agreed to do this to make your mother happy. Sure, for a day or two. But I don't want to make my mother happy for any longer than that. Come on. It'd break her heart to find out she's not a real psychic at this point. But you don't understand. I'm supposed to meet the cutest guy at the library. Where we will read our brains out. And I'm supposed to go to the Regina Comic Con with Billy Allison. It's the first year they'll have two people. And I gotta do this thing. That kid's not gonna break his own legs. Oh, you think I like this any more than you? I wanted to golf today. But if I can sacrifice what I want, you can not too, all right? I said, all right? Yes. Fine. Good. I'm going back to bed. Like I'm gonna miss golf because of some stupid dream. <gasps> Careful, Jimmy. You could have killed yourself on that thing. What are you waiting for, Jimmy? Just savoring the moment, Cheech. Just savoring. Okay, leg shoulder width apart. Slight bend at the knees. Check the backswing. And... Whoa! You okay? You want to take a break? No, I'll play through. Just take the penalty. No, I can make this. You want a break now? I'll play through. I'll play through. I'll play through! I'm playing through! Hey, look at that. A little Australian boy. Sorry, mate. I need ya. Hey, Jimmy. I'm starting to think Cookie's dream may have been about you. I'm playing! God damn it! Okay. Legs shoulder width apart. Slight bend at the knees. Check the backswing and. So worth it. And where do you think you're going, young lady? Out. I don't think so. Are you trying to get yourself killed? Did you not hear a word I said earlier? I know, the dream, I'll die, blah, blah, blah. But Mom, I have to go, he's so cute. And he's a goalie. We met when I was fixing the hockey game. He's really good with his hands. What? We just kissed, I swear. Okay, he may have touched my boobs a little. Okay, a lot. What's third base called in hockey? You fixed the hockey game? I had to. Daddy said we had to make your predictions come true. <gasps> oh, my God. I wasn't supposed to say that. Oh, well, the cat's out of the bag. Bye. Petey, is this true? I am not going to lie to you, Mother. It is. You fixed my predictions? Every single one of them? 
Not me. It was Dad's thing. I didn't want any part of it. A lie is a lie is a lie. Are you trying to tell me that your father was sneaking around all over town this entire time, making every one of my predictions come true? Why would a person do that? Believe it or not, he thought it would make you happy. Well, you know what? It did. i never been so happy in my whole life. And what's wrong with you <gasps> that you wouldn't? What, you're too good to lie to your mother? Uh... Get out of here! I can't stand to look at you. And you better think long and hard about your morals, mister. I can't believe that big palooka went to all that trouble just for me. That lying, conniving, manipulative sack of <laughs> I married an angel. Jimmy, sweetie! I'm coming to talk to you! Oh, ah, jeez. Ah. I know what you did, Jimmy. I've been here the whole time, I swear. I know you fixed my predictions. What are you talking about? You went behind my back, you deceived me, you made our children deceive me, you played me for a fool. It's the sweetest thing anyone has ever done for me. You fucking kidding me? On the outside, you may be tough gangster, Jimmy Falcone, but underneath all that macho and beef and provolone, you're just a big old teddy bear. And I don't need the gift to tell me that. So I'm gonna close the shop. After thinking I had the gift, I could never go back to faking it again. But Cookie, that's the thing. It turns out you do have the gift. That's sweet, but you can stop now. No, I'm serious. You have the gift. For real. Stop it, Jimmy. It's over. I ain't lying. Every single one of your predictions came true. Sure, we rigged a bunch of them, but they still came true. They all came true. Give it a rest, will ya? You tried to con me. It was sweet, but you're pushing it. I'm not an idiot. Cookie, I'm telling you. Now you're just pissing me off. One more word and I will cut you, you guinea bastard. Well, look at that. They made Pluto a planet again. Greetings. You know me as Petey McDougal, Canadian nerd. You also know me as Petey Falcone, New York dork. Like other misfits of my ilk, I never really felt like I fit in. Hello. Congratulations. This was especially apparent in our old life among the family. Yo, Petey, try this lasagna. It's like angels singing in your mouth. No thanks, I'm lactose intolerant, and pasta's not good for my gluten sensitivity. You know what makes me sensitive? Jagoffs with no manners. Eat the fucking food, you mook. Hey, kid. Have some wine. I won't tell you, folks. Actually, it was their idea. You need to loosen up. Cheech, I've seen what alcohol does to people, namely you. And it won't work. Have to live a little, kid. <laughs> what are you doing? The bride gave birth to a boy this morning. We're celebrating. Smoke up, kid. It's bad luck if you don't. Really? Hell if I know. <laughs> I was gonna steal that, dumbass! Now that we're in Canada, I finally feel like I fit in. And I'm sure in time, the rest of my family will learn to love it here as much as I do. Forget about it! Let me tell you something about a friend of ours named Jimmy. I made the wise guy and the capo with the gambini. But when he found out that they'd be whacking Uncle Cheech, he'd take the boss, he threw him from the 19th floor suite. Wasn't much along till the mob all wants him dead. So Jimmy had no choice but to talk to all the feds. The feds say they heard that they could use him as a pawn. So he ratted out his friends and moved to Saskatchewan. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. Oh, forget about it. Ah, keep jerking it, Jetsy. Oh, almost there. Mm. That's it. Yeah, that's good. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Relax, Cookie. It's not what you think. I'm sure there's a logical. Slide it in and out. Slowly. Okay. You went to a Catholic school. This kind of thing happens all the time. And... Oh, God, listen to yourself. <laughs> You pricked me. Spit that out. You do not want to swallow it. Jesus Christ on a bite! Ta-da! What do you think? Cheech, we're trying to keep a low profile here, so you go and swipe a boat? Swipe? Give me some credit. I got it at the police auction. Let's start the bidding at 500. Who'll give me five? So! <laughs> it was a steal, Jimmy. Except I paid for it. We live on the prairies. 
What are we gonna sail on? Seas of wheat? There's a lake near here. We'll go fishing like the old days. Except without the dead wise guys clogging up the water. Cheech, I'm married. I can't just take off whenever I want. I was married. I took off all the time. And how'd that work out for you? I'm gonna die alone. I gotta clear this kind of stuff with Cookie. I gotta drop reminders, sweet talker, negotiate terms. Peace in the Middle East to take less diplomacy. Hey, Cook, we're going fishing. Great idea! Absolutely! Go fishing! Get out of here! Far away from Petey! Huh? Never mind. Just go. <sighs> oh, no, wait. There is something we need to talk about. Love you, man! So, I think your brother might be... gay. And if he is, I want to make sure neither of you gives him a hard time about it. What do you take us for? He's our brother! I know we bust his balls, but we got his back. Apparently, so does Jetsy. <laughs> Teresa, what did I say? Ma, I'm just playing. Well, stop! I'm having a hard time with this. Get over it. You want to wind up like Mrs. Scavuzzo? She rejected her boy because he was gay. Died alone. Cats ate a face. You want that, Ma? You want a cat eat in your face? Because I know a guy. But I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Yeah, you can act like a mom! And never buy a cat. You're right. I can do this. I'm gonna be the best damn mother of a gay you ever saw. You know he's not, right? Oh, God, of course. He's not cool enough to be gay. If he was, at least he'd have a personality. <laughs> this is fun. What, are we bonding now? Shut up! I tell you, Cheech, you can't beat the peace and quiet of a fishing trip. Uh, you want some of this? Who's a big fish now? Say hi to your mother for me. Big leg, fish dick. I got your catch and release right here, you fucking mutt. You broke my heart, you scaly prick! I'm out. Me too. So relaxing. Now them fishes are sleeping with the fishes. <laughs> <laughs> Young Petey is a homosexual. Splendid. I'm glad you called me, Cookie. Good. Because I don't know how to tell him he has my support. Can you help me out? I can do better than help you, Cookie. I can refer you to a qualified colleague. And no, I'm not deflecting your request because it makes me uncomfortable. Here in Canada, we pride ourselves on our pride. By the by, how's Jimmy taking this? Oh, God. Jimmy doesn't know anything yet. He's gone fishing with Cheech. Fishing? I got no idea what Jimmy will do when he finds out. Did he mention being angry with me? Because I've told him I'm an avid fisherman. But he loves Petey, so who knows? I'm sorry, what? Just checking for texts from Jimmy. No, nothing here. Do you think it would be weird if I just showed up? Showed up where? At the fishing trip. I thought we were talking about Petey. Oh, right, I'll get my colleague to come see you. For Canada! Where friends are supposed to tell friends about fishing trips. <laughs> Don't move. Who? Don't move, I said. What the hell? Look at me. Look at me. I am the captain now. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't look at you. You look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me! Look at me! Don't look at me! Look at him! Look at me! Look at me! Don't say look at me, just look at me! Look at me! Look at you, being all, look at me! Look at me! Hey, look at me! Ooh. Enough! I am Giddy. This is Johnny. We own this boat now, understand? Hey, I own this boat, pal. You want it? Make me an offer. I'll shoot your fat friend and dump him over the side. Hey, Jimmy, quiet. I'm negotiating here. All right, say you shoot Fatso. What's in it for me? So, are you sure this isn't going to be too intense for you? Maybe, but it's something I need to do. Well, why don't we just ease into it then? Take it nice and slow. Uh, what's going on with the hand down there? Uh, foreplay? 
Isn't this what you wanted? No! I need advice about helping my son come out of the closet. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I thought this was a booty call. McCool kept talking about... I think he said fishing. He's all upset my husband went without him. Oh, it was hard to understand McCool. He was so distraught. Oh, this is embarrassing. Don't worry about it. And a little disappointing. Oh, why? Well, you're gorgeous. Oh, stop. So, about your son... Gorgeous? How? Just curious. But, uh, what would you do to a gal like me? Give me a, for instance. Whoa, that is something. So, where do these scissors I keep hearing about come into it? <gasps> you guys are not gonna believe this, but, but I think Mom might be gay. <laughs> and the hits just keep coming. Petey, this is huge. Who'd have thought Ma was a Lebanese? Can you imagine what it must have been like for her in the old neighborhood? Carrying the desire that dare not speak its name? Yeah, they weren't big on that back home. And they hated people who said stuff like, dare not speak its name. So what are we gonna do? Give her the love and acceptance she deserves. Duh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but uh, don't come right out and tell her we know. I mean, she might not be ready for that. Good idea. I'm gonna show her I'm behind her 100%. <laughs> much fun since I switched your birth control pills with breath mints. <laughs> That's why I've been so minty down there. Why is there nothing on this boat but beer and grappa? Cause Jimmy says cocaine and boating don't mix. This is pointless. We need money. For a jolly pirate crew, you guys ain't too jolly. Jolly pirates? We did it to survive a brutal civil war. We fled to Canada for a better life. But now, we are being deported. We need money for an immigration lawyer, fast. Problem is, your crew's too small. You need a few more hands on deck. Please! Where could I possibly find experienced hijackers in Regina Beach? You thinking what I'm thinking? Honestly, I don't even know if I'm thinking what I'm thinking. You ever hear voices, Jimmy? <laughs> Ma, there's a secret living in this house. An elephant in the room, if you will. I know, Petey. A big, gay elephant. <laughs> that elephant needs to know they're loved and supported. I couldn't agree more. What about Papa Elephant? We'll tell Papa Elephant when the gay elephant is good and ready. And when the time comes, that elephant is not going to be alone. No, that elephant isn't. <laughs> I'm glad we cleared this up. It's good to get things out in the open. It sure is. I feel sorry for families that don't know how to communicate. <sighs> Ahoy there, Cappy! Avast, you landlubbers! What are you doing? This is not some dress-up game. Ah, come on. Who doesn't want to be a pirate? You boys need our help, and you know it. <sighs> Fine. We're desperate, and you Canadians are very helpful. By the way, Real pirates don't dress like that. But I already cut off my hands. What'd you do that for? A pirate's gotta have a hook. Quickly, where is the hat now? We must put it on ice immediately. Here it is. Mm. All right, all hands on deck. Oh, sorry, Cheech. I've come to terms with my choice. Uh, Mom? Yes, Petey? There's this pride rally downtown this afternoon, and... It'd be an honor to be beside my boy. Now that the elephant's out of the closet, let's parade it through the streets. Boy wasn't poking his finger in your dike. What the hell were you doing? 
I told you, it was nothing. That was not nothing, young man. Spit it out. Ugh, fine. But I think it'd be easier if I showed you. If he comes back in a dress, I'm gonna sh The Elven Spellcaster! A seventh level mage! I don't understand a word you just said. I'm a LARPer! What is that, Swedish for loser? No, it's live action role playing. LARP! We dress up in costumes. Oh, it's, it's like when you dress up as a French maid or put on a leather gimp suit, right? No, that's good wholesome fun. I got no freaking idea what this is. Oh. <sighs> Problem is, you've been picking the wrong targets, Getty. What you want is an RV. Them things are packed with a king's ransom match right now. What about your uncle's hand? We need to go to a hospital. Ah, that'll be fine. He's had so many beers, he can't feel nothing. Ah, that's better. There's a galleon on the port bow. Or is it stopping? Which one's left? Oh, I used to know this. Get pirate insurance, I said. You never know, I said. But would you listen? I'm going to watch TV. And I don't care if it drains the battery. Ah, prepare to be boarded, you scurvy dogs. Hoist the mizzen what sits on the wibble wobble. How? Oh, where'd he get those? It's standard now on all American-made RVs. God bless the NRA. Oh! Dave, the pirates are here. I still don't get it. Is LARP a sport? Not exactly. Do you win prizes? No, we get experience points. Then we use those to level up and... Shut up! I stopped listening after no. None of this makes sense. Patience. All will be revealed. Roar! A minotaur! Creature, lightning bolt, lightning bolt, lightning bolt, fireball, fireball! Ow! Watch it! That was really close to my eye. Roar! Back down, double damage, and confetti death blow. So, Ma, what'd you think? I think I'm gonna confetti death blow my fucking brains out. was the most mortifying thing I've ever seen. Why can't you pick up a nice drug habit like a normal kid? What happened to supporting me no matter what? That was when you were gay, not when you were a fairy. I'm an elf. I wish I was a fairy. That's a whole other level. You need to learn sixth level enchantments and- Enough! This is just unnatural. Well, this is who I am. No, it's not. You're chosen to be this way. All you need to do is, I don't know, meet the right girl. Oh, this is all my fault. I should have pushed him into sports. Oh. It gets better, Petey. Trust me, it does not get better. One more score like this and you'll have immigration lawyers coming out your ass. Damn, it's fun being a pirate. It's not meant to be fun. We do it for survival. What about pillaging? That part's fun, right? So are Vikings! <gasps> we should be those next! So what do we do with this scallywag? Make him walk the plank! <laughs> uh. oh. Petey? Open up! Go away! Okay, he's in there. Get him! <laughs> Cast out the foul demon, Father! The power of Christ compels you! Ah, lightning bolt! Lightning bolt! See, Father? What did I tell you? He's all wrapped up in the occult! I'm not possessed! I'm a LARPer! That's not a sin! But it's an abomination, isn't it? Tell him, Father! Oh, heavens, not at all. It's not as though he's gay. Get out of here, you intolerant jag-off! <laughs>
I'm still not having this under my roof. Tell your friend to leave. Jetsy's my apprentice, and he's staying. I said scram, Dutchie! <laughs> Jetsy, wait! I don't care what she says, we're a team! <laughs> Freeze spell! Freeze spell! Wall of stopping! What is wrong with you? We're not hurting anybody. I can't accept this. A grown boy pretending and make-believing? It's too weird. Too weird? In a family that used to pretend everything was normal while our father was out running a crime syndicate? A family, Italian, mind you, that now lives as Scottish Canadians under an assumed name? Face it, Mom. Our whole life is one big LARP. Double glitter truth bomb. Just stop it, you freak! Hey, that priest dropped his holy water. Ow! It burns! It burns! <laughs> Jimmy, stop! The joke's over! <laughs> Take that, you salty dog! <laughs> Ow! Enough! You two are crazy and dangerous! Of course we are! We're pirates, for Christ's sake! No, you're not! You're idiots! Consider yourselves fired! Ha! We just got Jolly Roger. You know, Jimmy, I don't even think them guys was real pirates. <laughs> hey, McCool! Ooh. Casey and Finnegan! What happened to Cheech's hand? Best an accident. But we got it on ice. I knew you shouldn't have gone fishing without me. Hop on, gentlemen. For Canada, where universal health care even covers stupidity. This just feels stupid now. Maybe Mom's right. We're just a bunch of losers in bathrobes tossing paper balls at each other. Whoa, who is that? Red hair and purple robes? Where have I seen that color scheme before? Thunder fists! Eardrum shatter! Dazzlepuff! Berserker thumb! Allergy spell! Feel the wrath of Flindor McDougal! <clears throat> Go ahead! Do it, Mom! Did you say Mom? No wonder people think we're losers. Oh. <laughs> Thunder purse! Thunder purse! Sanitary napkin! Electric shoe? Mom! I'm not mom. I'm Cookie the Concubine. <laughs> you mean conqueror. I just picked a word, Petey. <laughs> what the heck is a thunder purse? I don't know, but it just saved your life, you little prick. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. That was great. I thought about what you said, and you were right. But for God's sake, don't let your father know about this. He's not gonna like the idea of his son dressing up in costumes. <laughs> A master! It's a sea gremlin! Get him, Jimmy! Come here! Dad, stop! That's my friend! You're next, help! Oh, God! Thank you for knowing what I was. Aye, there be the booty I've been craving. <laughs> Thunder purse, bitch! How you doing? There's two words that strike terror in the heart of any wise guy. They represent the end of freedom and the start of a life sentence. I'm pregnant! My life was over. You can be a good father or you can be a good fella, but you can't be both. Still, I wanted it all, so I made it work. Folks, hit the floor and keep the crying to a minimum. 
Anyone moves, you let me know. Remember that? The FBI does. I spent two years on the most wanted list for that one. Anyway, after that, I decided to keep work and kids separate. After I showed you how it's done. No, because jobs come and go, but families forever. Yeah, like herpes. Ah, uh, herpes ain't forever. Forget about it. Let me tell you something about a friend of ours named Jimmy. I made the wise guy and the capo with the gambini. But when he found out that they'd be whacking Uncle Cheech, he'd take the boss, he threw him from the 19th floor suite. Wasn't much along till the mob all wants him dead. So Jimmy had no choice but to talk to all the feds. The feds will say they helped if they could use him as a pawn. So he ratted out his friends and moved to Saskatchewan. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. Jimmy. Oh, Cookie. Oh, Jimmy. Oh, Cookie. Oh, God! Would you guys shut up? Just think of other people and finish already. Go back to sleep, Teresa! How can I with the golden age of porn knocking down my wall? We better be real quiet. <laughs> Mm. Yo. Oh, oh. Uh. You sound like a walrus and a seal fighting over a fish. Keep it down, Sea World. Let's go find somewhere more private. Where's my robe? I just came to say goodnight. Uh. <laughs> I'm still turned on. Keytel Records. That's a harvest moon if ever I saw one. For Christ's sake, McCool, what do you want? I didn't mean to interrupt this nostalgic reenactment of prom night, Jimmy. I'll come back. Ah, forget it, McCool. The moment's passed. What do you need? For starters, Cookie, I can't help but notice your airbags are deployed. Here, take my jacket. A colleague of mine is going away on assignment, and her house sitter backed out at the last minute. Thank God you came to us. Really? No, you jackass. Who cares about your friend? I'll do it. I can't get any sleep with the walking dead here moaning all night. Yes, I got an eyeful of that outside and subsequently won't eat for a week, but I think this is a job for your brother. That is so unfair. Just because Petey's a boy, you think he's more compliment than me. The word is competent. Oh, so now I'm stupid because I'm a girl? Certainly not. I would never discriminate on the basis of gender. And even though I didn't, I will offer you the job. Just to be safe. That's the Canadian way! Yes! For Canada! Where equal opportunity just got a girl an unpaid internship! Fifty bucks says she burns the joint down in an hour. Give me forty, I'll do it right now. Teresa, you have three priorities whilst house-sitting for my colleague. Money up front, no kissing, back doors extra? I'm sorry, what? Nothing. You must keep the house spotless and feed the dogs regularly. <laughs> They're like friends who never judge. And then there's Siegfried. Who's Siegfried? Siegfried is a dwarf alligator, my friend's pride and joy. What? Beware, he likes to bite. How am I supposed to pick it up? Very carefully. <laughs> That gator is the coolest thing I ever seen. I'm staying here too. As am I. As am I? No wonder bullies tape your ass shut. I don't know if everyone staying over is a good idea. It's a great idea, Cook. We'll get everybody out of the house. Besides, Teresa can totally take care of that creepy lizard. This creepy lizard can take care of himself. Now, who wants to cook me dinner? You hear that silence? It's glorious. No kids hounding us. Let's take advantage of this peace and quiet while we can. Yeah, why hop in the sack right away? We got all night. Yeah, we're empty nesters. I'm gonna go take a long, hot bubble bath. Good idea, babe. I'm gonna catch up on my re...
Condoms, big boy? Yeah, yeah, right here. I even got the glow in the dark ones. Are you nuts? We need those. I want you right now, Jimmy. And you don't gotta worry about being premature, because I don't mind. Really? I can just wait a sec. I know what this is. You want another baby! What? Don't be silly. A baby? That's bananas. I just want to make a baby with my husband. I mean, make love to a baby. I mean, make a love baby. I... <sighs> Fine. If you don't want to, maybe it's for the breasts. I mean, breast milk. I mean, ah, oh, forget it. You want to have another baby? Are you nuts? We got four <gasps> kids already. We got three. I'm counting Cheech. Come on. Having a kid now would be like shanking a guy in the shower two days before parole. Boom! Another 20 years stretch. I'm putting my foot down. Both foots. No more kids. Okay, fine. The man has spoken. I guess I'll just polish this little spot here on the coffee table. Oh, it's so dirty, Jimmy. Uh, ow! My neck! Sit down. I'll give you a massage. All right, but no trying to seduce me, Kabish. I know what you were doing there with the magic swirling ass. Oh, that feels good. Oh, yeah. Your hands are so soft. Hey, that's not fair. Cut it out. Look at this mess. You're really living up the people's low expectations here. Way I see it, before we leave, we make Petey clean everything up. And people call you that dumb one. Let's make some work for him. <laughs> hey, that looks like fun. <laughs> I just took Ziggy for a three-hour walk to the end of the driveway. Alligators are kind of boring. He don't look too good. Anybody feed him? I filled his bowl with tofu. Tofu? He's a connoisseur. He needs meat. Here you go, little fella. Ha! You're gonna have to move faster than that, ugly. You probably shouldn't do that. Nah, he loves it, right? Ah! Oh! Oh! Ah! That's what you get for teasing him. Let him go! Don't hurt him! Oh my god, Cheech! Oh no, Ziggy! Didn't you feed the dogs? Again, tofu. Cool. Ha! He missed. <laughs> Lucky I got away. Cookie's knocker's got a kung fu grip. <laughs> Big boy. No! It's mine! Until I squeeze it out of you, then it's mine. All mine! <laughs> the kid's gotta come home. Cookie's gone baby crazy. What happened? You teased the gator? You know me so well. What are you so worked up about? You don't want a baby, just don't have sex with Cookie. Yeah, you're right. But, uh... What is it? Uh, it's just we haven't, you know, done it in a couple of weeks, and I, uh... Ah, you got what the medical professionals call blue ball. <gasps> Let me tell you a little secret I learned in prison. Okay, stop talking. No, oh, that's only to get cigarettes. I'm talking about beating it like it owes you money. I can't do that in the house. Cook's like a bloodhound. She'll smell the baby better a mile away and confiscate it. It's like a seven cents. We all know what a six one is. Ew, who was that? 
It was Petey! I know your brand, mister. Oh, I once broke wind in Reno and she called to rag me out. So? She's got a nose for farts and man milk. You don't gotta yank it in the house. There's lots of other places. Bus shelters, department store change rooms, back pew to church. I get it! I'll figure it out. Good. In the meantime, I'll talk some sense into Cookie. You go find some place to have a nice little masturbate. <gasps> Oh, don't look at me, lady. He's the one about to abuse himself like a circus monkey. <laughs> Cookie, look at his crap. Kids cost a fortune, and what do you get for it? Stinky diapers and a lot of back talk. I get that from you already. Besides, babies are wonderful. You can't beat that baby smell. Their little feet, all the sweet sounds they make. They do make cute little sounds. And that nice, warm feeling when they snuggle on you. Ooh, I love that snuggly feeling. It reminds me of my old soulmate, Rapey Joe. The way they gaze up at you, knowing that you're their entire universe, and they love you like no one has ever loved you before. Now I want a baby. Aren't you sterile? You mean senile. And yes, Dolores, I will have a donut. All right, I'm out. Looking for dogs is beneath me. Good luck, suckers. Not so fast. The dogs will wander back, but we need a new Siegfried. No, we don't. Who cares, Teresa? I pushed for this job. If I screw it up, I'm gonna look like an idiot. Yeah, gonna. I am not dealing with Ma saying, you see, Petey should have been the house sitter. F him. I'm right here! It's just an expression, Petey. Anyway, I need you both to get on board and help me find an alligator. Why would you need to find an alligator, Teresa? Uh, cause Cheech really took to Siggy and wants one for himself. I always pegged Cheech for an animal lover. Although on some level I imagined that literally. Of course, alligators are tricky to find in Regina. You can ask my colleague about it when she returns home tomorrow. Tomorrow? <laughs> Her assignment was cut short. She can't wait to feel the leathery embrace of Siegfried again. And she'll be thrilled he'll have a chum for future play dates. Good luck in your search. All right, I'm back in. Aw, thanks, Gina. I don't want to miss everyone going ballistic when you screw this up. <laughs> Cheech, how'd it go talking to Cook? Not good. <clears throat> how about you? Did you manage to take your hand out for a liquid lunch? <clears throat> no, and I'm dying here. Tell Cookie to lay off the dirty texts. I gotta go. I'm feeling lightheaded. Did you get my picture? Because I'm sending you about 200 more. Cook, please, stop. <laughs> That's it! I can't take this no more! Regina Tourism! Let me tell you what I want to do to you, big boy. First, I'm gonna... Oh, my! All right, Jimbo, man up and do this. What kind of heartless world is this where a guy can't find a place to have a tender moment with himself? That'll do. Well, Tree, I guess I'm gonna tap you with my sap. <laughs> my own! <laughs> okay, God! I get it! It's a sin! Fucking lay off, will ya? All right, citizens, disperse. There's nothing to see here. Brian Adams' bleeding fingers. What are you doing up there? Trying to avoid sex with my wife? Get down, Jimmy. Who? <laughs> what? Uh, nothing. So what's all this about avoiding sex with Cookie? I don't want her getting pregnant. That's all you gotta know. I see. Well, why not get a vasectomy? 
How is converting to Jewism gonna help? No, that circumcision. A vasectomy is different. You want me to cut the whole thing off? Like a Ken doll? No, it's when your vast deference get clipped and clamped. Well, it's probably easier if I show you. Yeah, I'm good. I'm surprised you don't know about this. Did you step in something, Jimmy? Nope. And all I know about that stuff is it's the devil's work. No, it's not. And if you want to have worry-free relations with Cookie, this way is 100% effective. Are you sure you don't smell something ripe? For Canada! Where God does it ever stink! Oh, this'll drive Jimmy wild. God! My back is killing me. Careful, lady, that same outfit got me into this mess in the first place. But you're so blessed. Blessed? That's cute. You got kids? I'm almost pregnant with my fourth. Whoopee. I'm almost gonna kill myself. But isn't it wonderful having that little miracle growing inside you? There's your miracle, lady. Is that you or me? I can't feel anything but my hemorrhoids burning like a ghost pepper butt plug. But you're both about to receive the most amazing gift. A child to hold and love and imprint all your failures on. Some freaking gift. I poop whenever I sneeze. All right, Jimmy. You can do this. One little snip and... <laughs> my boys. <laughs> Maybe I'll buy my bulls a farewell drink. This one oh, looks like a snappy little bastard. So how do we get it? Easy. We lower Gina down by her legs and she grabs it. I'm not going in there. But you're the smallest. You're the ugliest. If your face gets ripped off, no one will know the difference. Come here. Gina, stop. Stop it, you two. If we want to catch an alligator, we're going to need some bait. <laughs> so which of these lizards swallowed the diamond? The small one, Cheech. But keep your eye on the big one. Got it. He's the muscle. You fellas would look good on my feet. Whoa! I take it back. Just like Coney Island. Leave the bottle. What are you doing here? Hey, Cook. I needed a drink. I was at the vasectomy clinic. You got a vasectomy? But Father O'Malley told us that's how the terrorists win. Relax. I didn't do it. Look. If it's between having another kid or having some doctor shove scissors into my nutsack... <laughs> what I mean is I love you, Cook. If you want a baby, I won't stand in your way. In fact, I'll lie on top of you. Hey, there's the chick who wants to shove a bowling ball out her hoo-ha. <sighs> yeah? Well, at least I don't poke my pants. Yeah, if she wanted to, she could shove two bowling balls out her... Stop helping, Jimmy. <laughs> It's a shame we gotta cut this cute little fellow open. I already told ya! There's no diamond! I faced death for that rock! It's real to me! Oh, they're back! Oh, crap! They got a taste for lizard meat! All right, uh, toss them the data! Never! Ow! Oh, son of a bitch! We'll turn Petey's room into a nursery, he'll go in Cheech's room, and Cheech moves into the garage. Come on, have a heart. Make Petey move into the garage. Or, or the bus shelter down the street. Oh, Jesus Christ! It's what we all want. Look! <laughs> You'll never take my baby! Never take my baby! <gasps> Sit! That's better. Stay away from my kids, you bitches! They're females, right? You're taking care of them, and you don't even... Ah! Oh, it is on, you motherfucking dogs! Look at you, kids. Your mother had to get rabies shots in her guts because of you. And this is how you thank her? Don't worry about it. I'm just glad they're home. Teresa, I'm very cross with you. Rosa's house was left in an abysmal state. For some reason, the dogs won't come out from under the porch, and Siegfried is missing. Put that gator back! Yo, Cook, the kid's latching, but I'm not producing. Do I breastfeed on the left side or on the right? Cheech, give Siegfried back to me this instant. What's with your face? 
You get crap in your eyes or something? No, why do you ask? Wanna sneak upstairs and see if we can flag down a stork? Huh? I was being cute. I meant let's go put a load of baby in you. We're right here. We can hear ya. <sighs> I think maybe I'm okay, Jimmy. I'm better off counting the two blessings I already got. There's three of us. Shut up, Petey. You sure? Yeah, baby. I know you came around to the idea. I hope you're not too disappointed. Yeah! All right! <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, baby! How you doing? I'm Gina Falcone. You can put a gun to my head, but I ain't calling myself McDougal. My pop used to be the capo in a New York crime family. That was great. Everywhere I went, I was treated with respect. Hey, Gina, good to see you, kid. Here's a hundred. Get yourself a lollipop. I talked with that dentist of yours. You won't be getting any more cavities. That was all about the end. Because anyway. my Uncle Cheech started shooting his mouth off. The Don ordered a hit on him, but my pop didn't have the stones to do it. So while Pop was begging the Don to spare Cheech's life, I decided to make my bones and take Cheech out. And then Pop had to go and screw it up. I guess Pop did have stones, just not a lot of brains. And that's how we wound up in Lady Part Saskatchewan. It's okay to say it, sweetie. Regina. But if you think I like being here, you can f Oh, language! What the fuck's wrong with you? Forget about it. Let me tell you something about a friend of ours named Jimmy. I made the wise guy and the capo with the gambini. But when he found out that they'd be whacking Uncle Cheech, he'd take the boss, he threw him from the 19th floor suite. Wasn't much along till the mob all wants him dead. So Jimmy had no choice but to talk to all the feds. The feds would say they helped if they could use him as a pawn. So he ratted out his friends and moved to Saskatchewan. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. tired at the end of a long day? They are. Are you still dialing the phone by hand? Oh, I am. Do you sometimes not point because you just can't be bothered? That's me. I hate pointing. With Silverfinger, you'll never have to lift a finger again. Oh, that's handy. Oh, uh, fingery. <laughs> but wait, there's more. It also scratches, pokes, taps, and picks. It's super. Dial 1-800-FINGER-ME-NOW. Welcome to Superfinger. Enter your credit card number now. Wait a minute. We don't have a credit card. Enter your credit card number now. I said I don't have a credit card. Do you take cash? Sure. Really? No. I'll give you a Superfinger. Jimmy, do you know what I do all day when you're at work? That's between you and Dr. Roz. I drive around town paying our bills in cash. I'm tired of living like this, and I'm sick of lugging this around. Don't you think it's time we got a credit card? What are you talking about? You got lots of those. None with my real name on them. Besides, McCool took them away. Like it's a crime to use someone else's credit card. Ah, you don't want one of them. What if someone steals it? Buys an Asian bride off the internet? You bad man! You promised better life! Jimmy, I want to live beyond our means, like normal people. All right, Cook. If you want a credit card so bad, I'll get you one. How the hell do you get a credit card? That's easy. You steal a lady's purse, you take her card. Bada boom, bada bing. I mean legitimately. I got nothing. Oh, for Christ's sake, you open a bank account. Fine, I'll dig up the nest egg and put it in the bank. You don't gotta yell. Cheech, get me a shovel. No problem. Ming, job what cha. Get your own damn shovel. <laughs> In layman's terms, the annual percentage... Geez, I've never been in a bank for more than three and a half minutes. Boy, I miss those days. So, what do you think, sir? I think I could take this place in about two and a half. I meant in terms of interest. Hey, I'm here, ain't I? So did you want the low risk interest rate of 0.1% or did you want to lock it in at six? So I can have 0.1 or 
That's right. I'll take the six, and you better have it by Friday. Sorry, old habits. Your deposit slip. My life savings for a piece of paper, and they call me a gangster. Holy shit, I'm rich! Cookie! I got you a little something. Yes! A credit card! My favorite piece of plastic that doesn't vibrate. Listen up, everyone. I learned a valuable lesson at the bank today. We're richer than we think. What are you talking about? It's easy. You had the nest egg I dug up from the yard with the money I stashed under the furnace, minus the cash I sent to that Nigerian prince, and it equals... We're rich! Jimmy, you gotta try this caviar and truffle sandwich. It's 600 bucks every time I take a bite, and it tastes just like chicken. Nah, I'm too full from the narwhal soup. We didn't spend too much yesterday, did we? Not at all. We bought mostly essentials. Ain't that right, Percy? What the hell? My credit card's declined. Last time someone declined me, I put their head in a vice. Run it again. Same thing. What's the problem? What's the problem? I'll tell you the problem. I got some moron up my ass asking what the freaking problem is. I don't believe this. Jimmy, give me some cash. Any chance we could run a tab? A super finger. Oh, I so want one of those. Mr. McDougal, your money is locked in for a period of no less than six months due to the high interest rate. I explained this all to you in great detail. Isn't there anything you can do? How about a loan? You know we're good for it. I'm sorry, Mrs. McDougal, but our records indicate that you recently went on an insane spending spree and are now at significant credit risk. Jimmy, what are we gonna do? What did he say, Cook? Holy crap! We're broke? So now that all my money's locked up, I need you to float me for the next six months. I'm sorry, Jimmy, but it's against witness protection rules. After we set you up with your first job, your financial well-being is your own concern. I would love to offer you a personal loan. That's great! But I'm afraid I'm on a strict budget. Not only do I support horse, myself, and a village of Bushman orphans, but every remaining dollar goes to my poor aging mother and her insanely expensive Bengay addiction. So you can't do nothing for me? Oh, contraire, my friend. I can give you something even better than money. More money? No. A money tree? No. A money factory? No. What the hell is better than money? If you see happiness or religion, I'm out of here. A vigorous pep talk. <laughs> At times like this, a man has to reach deep down inside himself to find out what makes him a man. To find wherein lies the root of his true character. Let me read you a letter from one of my orphans. <clears throat> Jimmy? Horse? Back to the zoo with you, mister. All right, everyone, listen up. It looks like we're having a small cash flow problem. If someone ain't paying up, I say go for the knees. Nah, Gina. Your mother thinks we gotta live economical for a while. So we're gonna have to cut back on a few things. Teresa, that means no new clothes. You mean no new clothes today, right? Gina, no betting on long shots. But old glue factory in the fourth is looking real good. And Cheech, no more booze for a while. Well, I had a good run. <laughs> Someone spot me a bullet, I'll pay you back. This is great. Now we can implement all the green initiatives I've been suggesting. It'll force us to reduce our carbon footprint. We have to buy smaller shoes now, too? 
Screw this. I know how to make money. Teresa, you will not have sex for money. Mom! This is so unfair. Now you kids listen to your mother. I gotta run. I'm teeing off in an hour. Jimmy, you march right down to that tourism bureau and get your job back. And you can forget about golf. No more golf! Cheech, I'm calling sloppy seconds on that bullet. Hey! Can't believe we have to ride the bus. We're turning into those people who bring bags to the store because they can't afford plastic. Mass transit is good for the environment and reduces CO2 emissions. This is so unfair. How could Daddy expect us to live on zero dollars a day? That's almost nothing. What's the matter with you two? You've been living off a of pop like forever. Me? I've been earning for myself since preschool. You want something in this life? You take it. Simple as that. She's right. Not about the stealing, of course, but there are things we can do to make our own money. Like collecting bottles for recycling. Really? Tell me more. Well, recycling saves resources, reduces smog... <laughs> The money part. They pay for bottles so we can earn money and save the planet at the same time. Driver, take me to where we save the planet. Sure, it's one stop past where we end world hunger. Stupid kid. Morning. Um, Jimmy, I, I don't think you... Sorry, can't talk. A lot of work to do. Gotta put the old nose in the grindstone, so... Oh, I'm sorry, Jimmy, but didn't you quit? What? Quit? What are you kidding? I love this job. I love whatever it is we uh, do here. I'm sorry, but you were very clear that you wanted to terminate your employment. Toby, that's not my ass. My ass is in color. Jimmy, as much as I'd like to give you your job back, we've already hired someone else. <laughs> so fire him. No can do. Last time I did that, his union was all over me. So, did Toby give you your job back? Yeah, Cheech. My first day back, and he gave me the day off. Well, looks like I gotta find some other job. Good thing you got the day off. You don't know what it's like out there, Jimmy. It's doggy -dog, dog. People killing each other to climb the corporate ladder. You look the wrong way, somebody stabs you in the back. Hey, wait a minute. You know exactly what it's like out there. Yeah, I do. Who knows? Maybe I'll get one of them CEO jobs where I can screw up and ask for a bailout. I'm gonna get a job, too. Atta boy, Cheech. You think I got a good voice for phone sex? Yo, Ma, are we poor? No, Gina, we're not poor. We're just a little light right now. That's an actual thing? I thought it was something Deadbeat said when they don't want to pay. No, it's an actual thing. So, if you're not poor, why are you buying all this generic crap? Grumpy Green Giant, Hamburger Hindrance, Room Temperature Pockets? Who buys this stuff? Immigrants and hobos, honey. Don't forget the elderly. No one's talking to you, toots. Teresa, just because it's called dumpster diving doesn't mean you actually have to dive. I know. You do. <laughs> How much did we make? Can you believe this is the only job we could get? I got 20 years experience running a family business, but no frickin' references. You know who'd have been a good reference? Don Gambini. He thought the world of you. Till you whacked him. Welcome to Blue Ball Ranch, boys. What we do here is extract bull semen for export. And how exactly do we do that? Same way you do at home. You mean in front of the window? With the neighbors watching? <laughs> <laughs> ah, God, my arm is tired. Your arm? <laughs> 32 bucks, that's it? A broad who does the same job gets at least 80 bucks an hour. A hundred if she does it like Cheech. I still don't understand what your job is, Jimmy. I don't bring my work home, unless it gets on my shirt. Well, you gotta find something else. We're barely scraping by. We can't pay our bills, and now Cheech is eating dog food. It makes my coat shiny. Cook, this is temporary. We'll get through it. Have I ever let you down? Not until now you haven't. What's this? A pawn shop ticket. I hawked my engagement ring to buy groceries. You did what? 
Well, someone has to provide for this family, and right now, that someone ain't you. I can't believe you sold it without talking to me. I was hungry. I couldn't think straight. I know things are bad, but look on the bright side. They can't possibly get worse. And they just got worse. Jesus, Jimmy, I'm blind. This is what we get for messing with them bulls. <laughs> Are you kidding me? What? I saw candles. I thought romance was in the air, along with a hint of lavender. That's cheech, burning furniture to stay warm, and you can forget fooling around. The mortgage company's breathing down our necks. If we don't pay on time, we lose the house. Ten minutes of sweaty groping ain't gonna help. Can't hurt. What, so now you won't sleep with me because I got no money? I won't sleep with you because I got no ring. It'd be a sin. What about our vows? For richer and for poorer? I'm an Italian girl from Brooklyn. I cross my fingers during the poorer part. What about during the obey part? Yeah, I'm sleeping on the couch, ain't I? Hey, where'd you get all that money? Do I ask you about your business? Listen, kid. You think you could loan me a few bucks? I might be able to help you out. You're a lifesaver. At 18%? What? That's crazy! That's highway robbery! That's... That's my girl. If you don't mind my saying, Pop, you're stooping pretty low borrowing money off a kid. Tell me about it, but I don't know what else to do. You can act like a man! Well, I don't know what else to do. Get out there. Pull some jobs. There's banks, liquor stores, convenience stores, credit unions, and that's just robberies. You could be out there running numbers, pimping broad, selling protection, but instead you're sitting around like a schmuck. I don't even know you anymore. Jeez, maybe she's right. I got it. Ow! Oh, Jesus! Ah, Jimmy, I've been concerned about your descent into abject poverty. How are things? To be honest, which is hard for me around cops. Not too good. You're not considering a return to a life of crime, are you? To be dishonest, which is way more up my alley, no, not at all. Take solace, Jimmy. Sweet Mother Canada stands at the bottom of the abyss, waiting to cradle you in the silky embrace of her social safety net. Say again, in American? Tomorrow, I want you to march down to the Service Canada office and apply for employment insurance. What the hell is that? It's just like unemployment insurance, except they put a positive spin on the name so the indigent don't feel like enormous blood-sucking leeches. Which, of course, they are not. Who sucked what? Trust me, Jimmy, your adopted nation has your back. For Canada, where you can get money for nothing, but the chicks aren't free! <laughs> That didn't work. Next. Go on, Petey. I'm not sure about this. I love experiments. I just don't want to be experimented on. If you don't, Petey, they'll do it on an innocent little animal. Okay, okay, I'll do it. Great. How'd it go? I feel surprisingly fine. At first, I was scared, but after the probe, everything went dark That's and... That's great. Where do we get paid? Will there be any side effects from this? Absolutely not. I'm sorry, sir. It says here you quit your full-time job, which means you're ineligible for employment insurance. Who, me? I didn't quit. I quit. So you're telling me I don't even qualify for a handout? Next in line. Yeah, but... Next! All right. My wife don't respect me, my daughter thinks I'm a schmuck, and I'm going to lose my house. Time to go back to work. And by work, I mean crime. Crime? Why didn't you think of that before? The answer was right in front of you. Sometimes I wonder about you, Jimmy. You know, I'm starting to think you care more about money than you do about saving the Earth. That's ridiculous. I totally care about the Earth. I also care about the Russian businessman who lives on the Earth and happens to need your kidney. My what? <gasps> Are you guys going to take long? Of course not. <laughs> 
Now we must take organs while fresh. Hey, sleepyhead. So, 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 so cold. Yeah, about that. I had a slight miscommunication with these guys. I thought they would just take in a kidney, but they wanted everything. Heart, lungs, even your doodad. Which the one guy wanted for a necklace. What? But I couldn't let them do it. Oh, thank God. Petey, I may have been using your dumb infatuation with the Earth to get important things like money, and I'm sorry. I know, it's okay. In the end, you stuck up for your little brother, which warms my frozen heart. Your heart could have got me 10 grand, but I'm glad it's still inside you. Ah! You're freezing, you little freak! You're trying to kill me! Man, I've been keeping a lid on my criminal side so long, I feel rusty. Ah, that's better. I could rob that jewelry store or snatch that lady's purse. Hell, I could do both. Rob that jewelry store and then carry the jewels home in the purse. Good thinking, Jimmy boy. Nah, if I'm gonna do this, gotta be something big. Bingo. Oh man, what the hell am I doing? What are you waiting for? Some idiot left the keys in a truck full of money. Don't do it, Jimmy. If you get caught, that will mean the end of your witness protection. I ain't getting caught. But if you do, I can no longer protect you. Like you need this Gavone to protect you. Jimmy, you would be endangering the lives of your family. McCool's right, Jimmy. Yeah, Pop, don't do it. It is a lot of money, though. Teresa! I'm just saying. What? You guys took all the good costumes. All right, I made up my mind. I'm pretty sure I can risk it. Jimmy, no. But I won't risk it for my family. I already put them through this once. I ain't gonna do it again. Hurry! For Canada! <laughs> Hurry up and steal the truck. I need booze money. I just hallucinated little people crawling all over you. Hey! Some idiot left the keys in this truck. Well, Jimmy, I guess it's back to jerking bulls. Remember the old days when we were short on cash? We'd just throw a junior good fella under a bus and fleece the transit company for the insurance. Oh, yeah. The good old days. Can I wash these down with a little scotch? Nope. Doctor's orders. I'm sorry for everything I put you through, Cook. I got you a little something. Oh, Jimmy. I love you. Jesus Christ. Give me a bottle, I'm hallucinating again. How you doing? I'm Jimmy Falcone, former New York capo. In the old life, the feds were always up in my business. These guys had ears everywhere, and by ears, I mean bugs. But I didn't let that keep me from being a normal family man. Someone! That's my girl. Messing with the feds was a game. I got the fat bastard right here, and I'm gonna chop up his legs and feed him to the dogs. On the ground, now! Ha <laughs> ha, gotcha. Oh, good one, Jimmy. I'd offer you guys a turkey sandwich, but fuck you. If it was real important, we talk in code. But that came with its own problems. Cheech, I need you to pick up the magic potion from the Maharaja and take it to the wizard. And make sure you look into his crystal ball. Gabish. Gabish. By magic potion, you mean he ate keys of heroin, right? On the ground, now! Now that I'm in witness protection living in Canada, I don't ever gotta worry about bugs again! Forget about it. Let me tell you something about a friend of ours named Jimmy. I made the wise guy and the capo with the gambini. But when he found out that they'd be whacking Uncle Cheech, he'd take the boss, he threw him from the 19th floor suite. Wasn't much along till the mob on once in dead. So Jimmy had no choice but to talk to all the feds. The feds will say they heard that they could use him as a pawn. So he ratted out his friends and moved to Saskatchewan. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. Oh, forget about it. Cookie, that was super. You're a regular George Foreman in the kitchen. Thanks, Jimmy. And now for the knockout. Cannoli. 
James McDougal. Who's asking? Angus McTavish. Don't ring a bell. Do I know you? No, lad. But our ancestors fought on the moors for three centuries. This weekend, you and I pay tribute to their bravery at the Regina Highland Games. Uh, speaking the English? I'm throwing down the gauntlet, laddie. See you at the caber toss. Go, McTavish! Who was that? Some Australian lunatic in a skirt. <laughs> Oh. I'm gonna regret asking, but what's your problem? There's this Dutch exchange student at school, Yetzi. No one pays attention to him. He said he feels invisible. And you care about Dutchy, why? I consider it a civic duty to aid new students. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bleeding heart, save the whales, help the Dutchman. I get it. Here's my advice. School's like prison. He wants a rep? Tell him to kick someone's ass. Gina, not every problem can be solved through violence. I'm not helping you with a dishes no more. You got it? Okay. See, Petey? I had a problem and violence solved it. Want me to demonstrate again? No. I'd appreciate it if you could keep riffraff like Scotty McBozo off of my doorstep. But you're a McDougal now. The Scottish community is finally inviting you into the fold. You just had to go and make me Scottish, didn't you? Why couldn't you just make me Italian? Because you'd have been too easily identified as ex-mafioso. Oh, so Italian automatically means mob to you? You racist sack of shit. I ought to put one in your head, run your body through a meat grinder, and bury you in cement! But I take your point. So you'll attend the games then? Not a chance. If you refuse this challenge, the Scottish Canadian Times will brand you a coward. You'll wind up on their shite list, along with other things Scottish people hate, like the Queen, underwear, and fresh vegetables. Do you want your friends back home to find your picture in gear, Jimmy? I guess not. Then have fun at the games for Canada, where every culture gets a ridiculous summer fair. Remember, everybody be cool and act like you're Scottish. Just be crabby and cheap. Don't worry, Jimmy. We'll blend right in with these weirdos. Uncle Cheech, stay out of my closet. That's a good color on you. So, your lily-livered McDougals grew a pair and showed up. Welcome to the Highland Games, you wankers. Thank you for inviting us. Don't get a swelled head, lassie. Every Scot in the phone book was invited. Right, to the kitchen with you, Nessie. You're on Helgis duty. Go on! Those sheep's stomachs don't stuff themselves. Blend. Ah! Oh. To the field of combat, lads. Or should I say lassies? <laughs> See? Blend him right in. Let me get this straight. We gotta cook this thing's stomach. How are we gonna get it out, ma? Same way your father did with Joey the Fink. Oh! <laughs> Oh, look at that! Hammer toss! Beat that, McDougal! You know, this kind of reminds me of collecting protection money back home. Off the field! <laughs> You throw like a bloody Englishman. Thanks, Angie. That's supposed to be an insult, you tit. I salute you. <laughs> Wheat sheaf toss. Snack on that, McDougal. This reminds me of the time we threw Big Cheese Romano off the roof. <laughs> Something's missing. <laughs> ah, there you go. <laughs> and you call yourself a Scott. Why don't you change your name to Scott? Ah! Ooh! Oh, it's on. <laughs> what you doing? That's my girlfriend. I mean... Uh, my mascot! There's a raft of sheep stomachs in the fridge, you daft Marys! Oh. Watch your back, lamb chop. 
Reminds me of something too. Huh? I guess I never killed no one with a tree trunk before. What? You've been living in a cave? <laughs> Off the field again! Oh, victory for Clan McTavish! Good game, Anus. <laughs> Jimmy, aren't you mad he beats you? You're the sorest loser I know. Did I lose, Cheech? Did I? Ah, but that's what you get for not going to the games, you bastard! Sorry, Yetzi. Who would have guessed the Saturday Academic Achievers Jamboree was just a bunch of grade-grubbing dorks? But don't worry, we'll find you some cool friends. <laughs> My sister suggested you pick a fight with someone to get noticed, which is totally absurd. Yetzi, cut it out! That's not going to work! Will you stop it? That's enough! <laughs> Ah, sh**. Yetzi, I'm so sorry! Wait, you forgot your teeth! Hey, everyone! For hide, drop in. Oh, look! It's eccentric billionaire Richard Wheatthin. Do I smell haggis, or is that Jimmy's feet? And he brought a studio audience to laugh at his dumb jokes. Might I say, Cookie, you look delicious. Can I try a bite? When it comes to haggis, I'm a bit of a gastronome. I've eaten it all around the world. Around the world? That would make you a gastronaut! Seriously? That was gold! Mmm, amazing. You can barely taste the intestines. Cookie, I have a proposition for you. I've been getting propositioned all day. <laughs> that gets a laugh? You're a bunch of dicks. This is my Scottish restaurant, Wee Wee Wheat Thins. For some reason, business has been slow. But I think we can turn this place around with Cookie as my new executive chef. Wow, Jimmy, what do you think? What's that think about? You can do this in your sleep. But who'll run the house? I will. How hard can it be to take care of two kids? Three kids. See? We'll all be learning new things. Go for it. It might be fun. In that case, Mr. Wheatin, I accept. To whom, Betty? I was stirring in the kilt, and I'm feeling a wee bit bad. I'm your new chef, Cookie McDougal. Now, I'm a little new to Scottish cooking, but I've been doing a wee bit of research, and I'm sure all you lads and lassies will be great. <laughs> These have been in the freezer for three months, and you want to serve them to customers? This is a restaurant, you jag off, not a Viet Cong prison camp. Are you sweating in the soup? What the hell is wrong with you? You know what? Screw it. Let's just serve them warmed over piss. Squat down. No? Then start over. <laughs> you can't cry in the kitchen. If I see one more of you motherfuckers crying in here, it's in the fucking oven you go, head first. You think I'm playing? <laughs> and let that be a lesson to all of you. in pan. This stuff's red, but it'll have to do. Add onion. Done. Why doesn't it look like the picture? 
Daddy, I need help with my homework. I'm a little busy, but... What's the capital of Canada? That's easy, capital C. Daddy, I only eat gluten-free. Is that gluten-free? Don't worry, I ain't gonna charge you. Pop, I broke Yetzi's jaw. Good for you, son. But he's my friend. So you straightened out your friend. I'm proud of you. But I feel like a monster. I said I'm proud of you. Quit fishing for compliments. Daddy, can you hand wash my bras and panties? Oh, I ain't touching that stuff. Pop, what's in a nook, sugar? Mom does it. Pop, is that meat sauce? I don't eat anything with a face. I have a face for dinner. I want a chicken fingers. Daddy, I gotta make a solar system. Daddy, I need clean panties. Pop, I almost killed Yetzi. I want a chicken finger. I think I need counseling. Daddy. Pop, Daddy. I almost killed Yetzi. Chicken fingers! Yeah! That's it! Go to bed, all of you. But it's only 6.30. I said go to bed. You know what? Change my order to face. You too, Cheech. Bed. But Jimmy, do I have to take off this belt? I'll be good. I hope Yetzi's in school today. I feel terrible about what the hell? Aw, poor little Yetzi. Do you want another blended cheeseburger? Hey, there's the bully that did this to Yetzi. <laughs> Gina's wrong. High school's not like prison. Though I do have goo all over my face. I bet that happens in prison. Amazing, Cookie. In just one week, you've totally turned this place around. How did you do it? Get the hell out of my kitchen. I'm trying to work here. <laughs> now, now, I am your boss. Sorry, sorry. He made me go to bed at 6.30 last night. I've been up since 3 a.m. I ain't naming no names, but a certain fat ass ruined my homework. Jimmy! I need a change. What the hell? Look at this freaking place. There's footprints on the ceiling, the TV's on fire, and why am I standing in three feet of water? Oh, for God's sake, where's your father? Jimmy! Hey, Cook. What the hell's going on here? Nice to see you, too. Look at this place. What exactly do you do all day? Besides work nine to five? Okay, 10 to three? 11 to two with a long lunch? I'm busting my butt at the restaurant 24 seven and you can't even keep this house going? Me? What kind of mother leaves her family starving and laundry lists and having to figure out the capitals of Canada all by themselves? What about your womanly duties? Oh, of course, my womanly duties. How could I forget? Remind me again what those are. Like having dinner ready on the table for your husband? Like it says in the Bible? What part of the Bible says that? You know, the part where Jesus fights the whale. I thought this restaurant thing was gonna be a nice little hobby. Did you just say nice little hobby? That's it, I'm out of here. Where you going? Back to work, where I get some respect. I respect you plenty. It's not like I told you to get in the kitchen, take off your top and make me a sandwich. Which actually sounds pretty good. Since Cookie won't listen to reason or the Bible, we gotta shut this place down. You know, for the good of the kids. Kills me to see him neglected like that. Special Agent McCool, nice of you to drop by. <laughs> Full disclosure, Cookie, I sometimes moonlight as the regional health inspector. Well, I'd offer you a bribe, but my kitchen is so spotless, you could eat off the floor. Speaking of which, you done licking the floor yet, Rodney? Don't worry, Cookie, my visit tonight is strictly as a haggis and cockalicky craving customer. Waiter, there's a hand in my soup. <laughs> And you're closed. You can't do this! Sorry, Cookie. Wee Wee Wheat Thins is now officially a crime scene. Jeez, tough break, Cook. But hey, you had a good run. No shame in that. Oh, for shame, there's a foot in the salad bar. You're a great chef. You deserve success. And you would have had it, but what are you going to do? It's the unpredictable hand of fate. Actually, it was the hand of Lorenzo. What I'm saying is, maybe this is a sign that your place is at home with your family and their laundry. You're right, Jimmy. Nothing to do now but take my failed ass home. Bada bing! Jimmy! What the hell? Excuse me, sir. Do you have a reservation? What are you talking about, Teresa? It's me. This is my house. Nope. This is Mighty McDougal's House of Haggis. 
You turned our house into a restaurant? You said you wanted me home, so I came home. But it ain't fair to my customers to shut down, so I brought them with me. Thanks for being so supportive, sweetheart. I do not remember being supportive. And I do not remember you having a reservation. Cheech, will you look at what Cookie's done to this place? I know. If I do a good job, I could make dishwasher. Gina, how about getting the old man some food? I'm starving here. No can do, Pop. We're full up. Mm. Now, I'll get you a shrimp cocktail. And a beer. No dice. All we got here is Rob Royce. Can we get a Heineken, a Spritzer, and a Fuzzy Navel? Three Rob Royce coming up. For the last time, I do not want to buy a fucking rose. Finally, a little peace and quiet. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, oh my god, seriously? And he's like, Tut, seriously. Wow, so you do have genital warts. <laughs> Restaurant's closed! You want a doggy bag? Bag this! Hey, Jack, shoot for Jimmy, have you lost your freaking mom? I can't stand it no more, Cook! I tried being supportive, but this restaurant thing is tearing our house apart! Shwash! Baby, I need you! The kids need you! Shut down this circus and let's be a family again! Well, you said I was great! You said I deserved success! And now you're running around like a freaking animal killing my business! We're shutting this place down, too! Oh, well. Beat sawn off hands. Ah, crap. That was you? How could you do that to me? Cookie, I'm sorry, I was losing my mind. You have no idea how hard it is to run a household on your own. I don't? You looked after the house for a week, Jimmy. I've been doing it for 16 years. Enjoy sleeping on the couch, mister, because you ain't getting nowhere near my meat locker tonight. That's kind of a weird thing to call your vit Oh, you mean the bedroom. Ow! If you want this <laughs> shrimp cocktail, you're gonna have to throw some pants on. <laughs> Oh. Cookie's miserable, and I feel terrible. That's marriage for you. What are you gonna do? She was happy working at the restaurant, and we blew it. I gotta go make this right. How much righter can you get? She's back in the kitchen where she belongs. She was in a kitchen, you moron, and I'm putting her back there. Jimmy, she's already there. Teach, maybe sit this one out, all right? Fine by me. I want off this freaking emotional roller coaster anyway. All right, what do you want? I've realized that prison rules don't apply in Canada. Here, people reward the victim, not the aggressor. If I want to be surrounded by girls like Yetzi, I need to get my ass kicked. Wait a second. You want me to beat you up in front of the girls? I want some of the action he's getting. What better way to get sympathy than by being unjustly trounced by a thug? Edie, think this through! <gasps> Hurry up, come on, hit me! No, get lost, you whack job! Come on, just a few good shots! Real quick, give me what I want! Let go of me, you freaking psycho! <gasps> now Yetzi's bully is assaulting a little girl! Get him! <laughs> hey, what are you doing? What? Went in Rome. Okay, what are we doing here? McCool called, said there was a major situation happening. Jimmy, what's going on? And why are you dressed like an undertaker? Good evening, Chef Cookie. Welcome to the reopened Wee 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 Things. I'll be your new matron D. Good news, Cookie. Your husband helped us solve the mystery of the severed hand. <laughs> Thanks to Jimmy, your Back in business. Oh, Jimmy, you big sweet moron, you. Sorry I messed things up for you, Cook. Gosh, it's kind of slow tonight. Only two customers. It's 8.30. The place should be packed. Maybe they heard about the hand in the soup. People talk, you know. Or maybe it was the fat, naked, hairy guy hitting people with his junk. Hmm. I was worried this might happen. You see, Cookie, haggis is strictly a novelty food. People only ever try it once, usually under the influence of alcohol. So, there won't be any repeat customers? Not a one, I'm afraid. Wee 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 Thins has run its course. Then why'd you bother reopening? Yeah, why'd I get my hopes up? What can I say? For me, Scottish food can be very haggis-forming. 
Give it a rest. You know what? You and your stupid restaurant just about ruined my marriage. Well, I guess I ain't a cook no more. Baby, in the kitchen of my heart, you'll always be head chef. Oh. A round of drinks for everyone. We're celebrating the birth of me son. Oh. How you doing? I'm Jimmy Falcone, former good fella currently freezing his ass off in Canada. Back in the old life, I never saw snow. And I don't mean drugs. I delegated that to Big Blow Bellucci. I'm talking real snow. Jimmy complained about the cold. I want you guys to make it summer around here. Thought it was calling for a huge snowstorm. Not that I'm complaining. <sighs> it worked. From now on, it's gonna be summer all the time. Except Christmas. I like a white Christmas, but warm. Capiche? I love New York in November. I look dolphin! <laughs> Palm trees in New York? If global warming means the end of the world, so be it. Hey, Rocco, that counts as a break. Now I live in Regina, where global warming ain't hit yet. It snows all the freaking time here. I mean, it never stops. Don't worry, Jimmy. I got your back. Cheech, what the hell are you doing? There's too many snowflakes. I can't get them all. Tell them all I went down fighting. If you think I can even remember what summer feels like, forget about it. Let me tell you something about a friend of ours named Jimmy. I made the wise guy and the capo with the gambini. But when he found out that they'd be whacking Uncle Cheech, he'd take the boss, he threw him from the 19th floor suite. Wasn't much along till the mob all went him dead. So Jimmy had no choice but to talk to all the feds. The feds would say they helped if they could use him as a pawn. So he ratted out his friends and moved to Saskatchewan. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. What's her name? I don't know what you're talking about. What? <coughs> hey! Oh, you've been working out? Oh. Oh. Say hello to the devil when you meet him, you two-time in grease ball. <gasps> I just took oh. the last soda. What? Ah. Jimmy, Cookie, for God's sake, the entire neighborhood can hear this hullabaloo. Jimmy's cheating on me, McCool. Let me shoot him. Cookie, I surveil Jimmy regularly, and I can assure you he's doing nothing of the sort. Though he did glance at a copy of Jug Glover's Quarterly at the gas station. Shame, shame. The feds won't forward my subscription. Don't you see? Cookie's busy with the kids, you're busy with your job. When's the last time you two spent some quality time together? Does drunk angry sex at 3 a.m. count as quality? It barely even counts as sex. Heed my words. Quality time is the key to a happy marriage. This from a bachelor whose best friend is a fucking horse. Cook, why would you think I'm cheating on you? Because you snuck out last night. I would have chased you, but the ambient was kicking in. I swear on the soul of my mother, that wasn't me. Then who was it? I don't know, but we're going to find out. Want to grill the kids? I'll get the waterboard. No, we got to catch them in the act. Like when Gina stole money from my wallet. She won't be doing that again. Look at you slaving away. How much is Dad paying you for this? Five bucks. Five bucks? You're getting screwed by the man. He's inside, nice and warm, and you're out here freezing your ass off for no money like a sucker. I like helping out. You're getting exploited. And so are all these other kids. <laughs> Sounds like you're developing a social conscience, Gina. Yeah, I don't know what that is. But I'll tell ya, if anyone's doing any exploiting around here, it's me. So it's Cheech sneaking around. Sorry I punched you in the face, Jimmy. I don't remember that. You were sleeping. That explains the loose tooth. Look at Cheech's clothes. In the old days, he only ever dressed up to pull a job. That knucklehead's gonna get us all in trouble. We better follow him. How are we supposed to do that if he's got the car? I know we're probably following Cheech on some depraved crime spree, but this is far 
fun. This is what McCool was talking about. I got a bicycle seat up my ass. How exactly is this fun? Why didn't you just take Petey's bike? I thought this was Petey's bike. It's worse than we thought. Cheech is going into a crack den. Nah, nobody dresses up for a crack den. It's probably just a whorehouse. We gotta get Cheech out of there before he gets pinched. Let's do this nice and quiet. <laughs> ah, screw it. Let's just do it loud and mean. Yeah! Jimmy, what are you doing here? Me? What about you? You sneaking around for a dance class? Why didn't you just tell me? No offense, Jimmy, but I got a life outside of you, you know. This looks like fun. Jimmy, maybe ballroom dancing is just what we need to spend some quality time together. Why not? Beach riding bikes. May I have this dance? No, no, no. You cannot dance together. Your bodies are, how you say, incompatible. You are built like pickle barrel, and you are bag of oatmeal. Hey, you're more suited to Juan Carlos. Nice to meet you, Juan Carlos. <laughs> oh, someone's a smooth talker. <laughs> you, what is name? Name is Jimmy. I, Svetenka. Now dance me. Dance me long and hard. Please don't hurt me. So, Gina, what is this union of yours going to do for us? Hurt yourself shoveling, huh? Who looks after you? If your shovel breaks, who buys your new one? Our parents? They're the ones who sent you out in minus 20 weather in the first place. Them grown ups are playing you for stooges. Yeah! I shoveled Mrs. Wilson's place and she didn't pay. Sign up with the Brotherhood of Snow Shoveling Youth and she'll definitely pay. They'll all pay. Who's with me? Union! 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 Jackets are mandatory for members. 50 bucks a pop. What? 50 bucks? Gina, are you serious about organized labor, or is this just a cash grab? Don't worry, Petey. The jacket money comes out of wages. You won't even notice. And if I hear any more of that scab talk, I'll cut your fucking eyes out. That was freaking amazing! It was like I was on that show, dancing with the people who used to be stars. With Juan Carlos, I was dancing on a cloud of tacos and vending machine cologne. McCool was right about us spending time together. Except we didn't really spend any time together, because our bodies are, how you say, incompatible. Ah, she don't know what she's talking about. I'll prove it to you. Oh! Jesus, when's the last time we danced? Sorry. No problem. Let me think. Was it at a wedding? Ow! Oops. Nah, I got nabbed for that diamond ring robbery before our first dance, remember? What? Ah. My bad. Did you guys get electrocuted or something? Maybe oh. ballroom dancing ain't our thing. Well, if we can't dance together, there's no point doing it at all. I agree. Ballroom dancing is out. Good call. You look like a couple of seagulls fighting over a french fry. <laughs> Jimmy! Ah! I need you ride me, Jimmy. Ride me right now! Svetanka, no! I'm married! Ride me to dance studio! I am late! Oh, you mean drive you? Sure. You know, every time you talk, it sounds like a come on. It's Svetanka's accent. You know, Jimmy, dancing with you last night made me so wet. Okay, you really should stop talking now. What? You are a sweaty man. Come in for one dance. I don't think my wife would like that. You know you want to. We keep forbidden dance a secret. Come, Yemi. Again with the sexy talk. Jimmy? Care to tell me what you're doing here? <laughs> you're sneaking around behind my back, ain't ya? What are you flipping out for? I just came in for a quickie with Svetanka. Dance! Quickie dance! I thought we agreed ballroom dancing wasn't for us. Says the broad who's standing in a dance studio. I had to double cheech down here on Petey's bike. I popped in to use the washroom. You know what? Juan Carlos asked me to be his partner for the Golden Bollies. Well, you ain't touching no one else's Golden Bollies. It's a dance contest, you moron. <laughs> oh, yeah? 
Well, I'm gonna enter too. I just need to find me a dance partner. That's right. I'm gonna win them golden balls with Swatanka here. Oh, Jimmy, it is so on. It couldn't be honor. Jimmy, can I get a ride home? Cookie broke Petey's bike. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you think you're going? I got rehearsal. These tap shoes ain't gonna tap themselves. Well, I got rehearsal too, mister. Who's gonna stay home and watch Gina? Gina? She ain't even home. I ain't seen her in days. In that case, dibs on the car! I got no time for this. I gotta pick up sequins for my fancy pants. Wait, I just heard that. Catch you later, sucker! You come back here. Oh, man. All this dance is really... <sighs> whip me into shape. How you doing? I'm Gina, business agent for Bossy Local One. My comrade here says he performed snow-related labor for you, and you didn't pay. What gives? I didn't know he was doing it. Didn't know? What, are you blind? Legally, yes. Can you see good enough to fish a freaking 50 out of your purse? I'm on a fixed income. <laughs> yeah, yeah, things are tough all over. Now make with the money. In my day, we didn't... Well, your day's done, Stegosaurus. <whistles> Give it a snow job, boys. You want it cleared? That's another 50 bucks. <laughs> Ow! Ouch! I don't know how those ice dances sew these sequins on. By using a double top stitch. How many times I gotta tell you? I can't focus. Cookie's so competitive about this dance contest, she's driving me crazy! You want me to pull a Tonya Harding, take out a knee? Say the word, she'll never walk again. That's my wife you're talking about! Besides, I'm way ahead of you. I slashed the tire so she can't get to rehearsal. Isn't that your car, Jimmy? Yeah, but it's also her car. That's why you're the boss, Jimmy. Always thinking. Now give me some change for the bus. Uh, I entered this contest to stick it to your father, but he's really giving me a run for my money. You really want to win? You're gonna need an edge. Oh, Teresa Maria Falcone. This is just lewd, crass, and totally hot. Nice work. <laughs> This shouldn't bother me, because I grew up around Italians. But your dance partner is really greasy. He drinks olive oil. Says it keeps him young. He's actually 72. <laughs> oh, I ain't paying you jagoffs to stand around gawking. Get back to work. Gina, I've been elected shop steward, and as such must tell you, the bossy membership feels they're not getting a fair shake. That's crazy. I'm paying five bucks a house. It's market rate. But you're charging our customers 50. What happens to the other 45? You think them fancy jackets pay for themselves? Teresa bought them, and you still haven't paid her back. I got a health and retirement plan to pay for. Them things don't come cheap. You know what else don't come cheap? Us. On behalf of the members of Bossy Local One, I hereby declare a strike. Yay! Yay! Just as soon as Brother Oliver has his potty break. Whoa, look at the balls on this room. I suddenly feel inadequate. I, I feel nervous. You nervous, Juan Carlos? <laughs> Do you even speak English? <laughs> hey, Cook, geez, you look great. Just like one of them old-timey prostitutes. Aw, oh, Jimmy, thanks. Look at you. That costume makes me want to say, Olay. Jimmy, why you talk to old whore? <clears throat> oh, sorry. Old whore is kooky. I don't listen to her. I just wanted to wish you luck in the contest. And sorry I saw the heels off your dancing shoes. Thanks, babe. And I'm sorry I put horse laxative in your dinner. When'd you do that? <laughs> I gotta go! <laughs> Wow.
won! In your fucking face, Jimmy! Way to go, Cheech! Wait, what did he say? Yimmy! We won second place! Uh. Hey! Get your Chernobyl licking tongue out of my husband's mouth! Is that what I think it is? It's these pants! They make me look huge! And like I'm pointing up! Listen, slut anchor! You boinking my husband? Da. Oh! Da means yes. What's the Ruski word for no? Nyet. That's it. I haven't boinked her. Nyet. You haven't boinked her yet? <laughs> well, have fun with your Russian floozy, you pig! What's wrong with you? You're gonna get me killed! Oh, you die for me. So romantic. No, I die because of you. You and I got no future, you understand? Forget future. Taste present. Ah. Yeah. Present tastes like vodka and lip gloss. Look, get it through your skull. I ain't interested. Svetenka, no believe you. All right, then, I'm gay. Ooh, it's hot. I bring man to bedroom for Yimmy. How about Juan Carlos? <laughs> I watch. Yeah, my answer to that is... <laughs> Would you guys just get out of here? I don't need this crap. We are not leaving until our demands are met. Fine, let's just settle this thing. You're willing to negotiate? Wow, I thought you'd just hire a bunch of scabs from the hobo jungle. Yeah, I tried that. Didn't turn out so good. It's cold. You want to have sex? So, there it is. I accounted for every day right down to the minute. You tell me, when could I have possibly slept with Svetanka? I know what I saw, Yimmy. Okay, fine. You got me. I've been riding it like a freaking tilt-a-whirl. I knew it! Wait a second. You'd never admit to something like that unless you're lying. And if you're lying, it means you didn't do it. Aw, oh, come here, you big lug. It's official. I will never understand women. <laughs> I vant you. Signed Svetanka. Gabadana Velianovich. Who was that? <gasps> Is that for me, you big sweetheart? Let's do that right now. Bring the bear. What are you doing out there, you wacko? No more wait. It's time for sexy. <laughs> I told you before, I don't fool around on my wife, ever. Maybe this changed your mind. Oh! Swatanka, for the last time, get out of here! <laughs> and take your two perky friends with you. If Cookie finds out this broad stalking me, she's gonna go ballistic! She'll kill Svetanka, I'll be next, and a couple of the kids might get clipped in the crossfire. It'll be a bloodbath! But surely she won't blame you. You're an innocent victim here. Clearly you've never been married. And don't call me a victim. It makes me sound like a candy ass. Jimmy, don't you see? You're keeping a secret from your wife. That's just as bad as cheating. Again, clearly, you've never been married. Cookie's your partner for life. Are you gonna start with that quality time crap again? Cause that's what got me into this shit show. I know this is highly implausible considering your background, but I think you should tell the truth. You think? All right, today's as good a day to die as any. But just to be safe, I'll take Svetanka into protective custody in the morning. For Canada, where most men would pay to be stalked by hot Russian girls. Where you been? Seeing McCool. Don't worry, he'll corroborate. Look, you and me gotta talk. What's up? You know Swatanka. Yeah? What about her? She's been stalking me. Here we go. Oh boy, thanks for the crappy advice, McCool. Well, I can't say I blame her. You're not mad? Oh, I'm gonna slice her up later. But I ain't mad at you. You didn't do nothing. What was that? Whoa, this is just like that movie where the crazy stalker broad cooks the rabbit. Oh, God. 
You, you think she's in the house? Hell, I bet she's right behind us. Yeah. What? I'm making beans. Oh, won't you budge on anything? Hey, hey, hey. I gave you a 2% wage increase over 10 years, didn't I? What's taking so long? Those kids are still on the picket line. Mary's got frostbite, all of us crying for his blankie, and I don't even know why I'm still there. You know what? Running a union is too much hassle. I'm out! Oh, no, you're not. You have a responsibility to those kids. Don't make me sick the labor board on you. Oh, uh, PD, I already paid him off. Speaking of which... What's this? You and Teresa's cut of the money I made off the scam. Count me in! Um, I don't know. I don't think I can... And I just sold out. Hey, Petey broke his cherry! Is Fetenka can't have Yimmy? No one can. I never understood that about stalkers. You love the guy, so why kill him? It's stupid. So, I kill you first? Did I say stupid? Let me rephrase that. Svetanka, you're never gonna have me, so you might as well just kill us. <gasps> but before you do, can I have one last dance with my wife? Da, one more time you flop around like puppets, then I shoot you. <laughs> you look like circus bear box and kangaroo! <laughs> Now that's what I call dancing. Jimmy, you're a genius. Well, I got my moments. Yeah! Jimmy, look out! Gina, good job. Beat! Why'd you hit Cheech? Yeah, I was on a roll. Ha, you get the quick lime, I'll chop her up. See, isn't this nice? We're doing stuff together. It's quality time, just like McCool said. Good news, Jimmy. Svetanka's visa has expired. We can deport. Oh, God, is she dead? Nah, but give us five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? I'm Gina Falcone. I may only be a kid, but I ain't no bedwet and twerp. I take care of myself. Like this one time back in New York. Hey, Ma! Pops! Where is everybody? The rest of the family was in such a rush to get to Coney Island, they left me. Home alone. So it was up to me to protect our house and have a little fun. I was expecting a kid to set cute little traps. This is almost too easy. Easy? You know, when you say that, you really devalue what we do. Yeah, I don't like kitty movies. All that violence, it's so fake. When it comes to violence, I prefer what Petey would call realism. Don't bother begging for mercy. Oh, my poor baby! I'm so... What the hell? Crap. Busted. Gina, how many times I gotta tell you? Not in the house. You're gonna get us all pinched. Anyway, now that we live in the most boring town on the planet, I'm gonna make my own fun. Ma, I'm going out. Don't forget your mittens. Is anyone else concerned that she's... Forget about it! Let me tell you something about a friend of ours named Jimmy. I made the wise guy and the capo with the gambini. But when he found out that they'd be whacking Uncle Cheech, he'd take the boss, he threw him from the 19th floor suite. Wasn't much along till the mob all went in dead. So Jimmy had no choice but to talk to all the feds. The feds say they helped that they could use him as a pawn. So he ratted out his friends and moved to Saskatchewan. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. Hey, who threw out a thermometer? <gasps> it's a pregnancy tester. Cheech, look at this. What's the little minus sign mean? Whoa, it's negative. Means a baby's coming. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. You want another snot in those brat running around? No. Pregnant equals negative. Holy crap, Cookie's pregnant? I can't be a father again. I barely survived the first three. You want my advice? Pretend to be happy about this. Then, when she goes to bed, you skip town like a fucking gypsy. <sighs> There's my beautiful wife. 
If you was barefoot, this picture would be perfect. Okay, what'd you do? Ooh, was that a kick I felt? No, it was last night's eggplant pump. What's wrong with you? You fall in the shower or something? No, I'm talking about our baby. <gasps> Jimmy, this test is negative. I was a little late and just, you know, wanted to be sure. But I ain't pregnant. Nobody's pregnant. Oh, thank you, baby Jesus. This is the happiest day of my life. Next time, I'll pull out earlier so you don't gotta worry. <gasps> don't you move, young lady. That's not mine. It's for a friend. She had a little scare, but everything's fine. Oh, really? What's your friend's name? Teresa? Your father found this. If he knew it was yours, He'd slap a chastity belt on you and swallow the key. Lucky for you, I covered for you. Phew, dodge that bullet. Thanks, Ma. Not so fast, Teresa Maria Falcone. We're not done here. Not by a long shot. Will you relax? You should just be glad I'm not pregnant. Now we don't have to guess who the father is. Oh! Think before you talk, Teresa. What are you doing? They're gonna need your measurements down at the nunnery. <laughs> Hey, McCool, thanks for meeting me. We had a little scare, and I'm going to need some rubbers. A case a week should do. Don't tell God. <sighs> Can't you just buy them at the drugstore? What? You could just walk in and buy them up here? In the old neighborhood, you needed a sit-down with Father O'Malley and the doctor's note. I had a connection upstate. One of the first guys to carry the French tickler. Are we finished here, Jimmy? McCool, what gives? Who died? Oh, just my career. A letter intended for my lady friend was mistakenly mailed to Premier O'Shea's office. So slap the mailman around. A fellow civil servant? Never. The problem is the letter contained photos of me. Playfully erotic ones. Oh! Ooh. When the Premier returns from his trade mission to Las Vegas, I'll be fired. Or at the very least, reassigned to one of Canada's bleaker outposts. Like Toronto. You ought to text your dirty pictures, like I do. A true gentleman does not text boudoir photographs to a lady. It's a picture of your bing bong. Quit trying to class it up. You're right. There's nothing classy about what I did. But Canada, where all degenerates wind up in Toronto. Poor bastard. You know, if we steal them pictures back for him and save his job, he'll owe us big time. Let's do it. We'll be ass deep in French ticklers. Can you believe she's making me wear an ankle monitor? Be careful what you say with that thing. It has speech recognition. Anything about boys and or sex and you get a shock. Even by mom's standards, it's a bit draconian. My social life is falling apart and you're talking about Star Trek? I'm only allowed to go to school and then straight home. What am I gonna do? Maybe focus on all the great things you can do at school. That's what got me in this mess. No, I mean an after-school club. Club, huh? Photography, full. Drama club, full. Witchcraft for beginners, full. All the good clubs are full. What's future business leaders? I thought it was a recruiting front for the conservative party, but it's just a club where you learn about sales and marketing. Ooh. Ooh, maybe they'll be cute boys. You're late. I told you to come straight home from school. I was doing school stuff. I joined the Future Business Leaders Club. Oh, please, you don't fool me for a second. You're just trying to stay away from here as long as possible. I'll have you know I am full of, what do they call them, viable consumer innovations. You're full of something, all right. Tomorrow, you come straight home from school. None of this phony club crap, you hear me? But, Mom, the one time I'm not lying, and you End of discussion! Oh, yeah? I'm gonna come up with an idea that's gonna knock your socks off. You wanna knock my socks off? Get your virginity back! <laughs> Gotta think of a product. I'll show her. Think. 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 God, thinking's hard. And so is this chair. My butt's killing me. Europa, I think I got it. What's going on in here? I'm taking the lead on the O'Shea heist, Jimmy. So what's with these mooks? It's the team. I call them Cheech's Eleven, minus six. Wait, how many of us are there, not including me? 
What's wrong with you? We're stealing some mail, not robbing a casino. Why you always gotta stomp on my ideas? Mainly cause they're insane. But I already gave everybody code names in case we get pinched. This here is Mr. Red. You're a freaking racist. Race ain't got nothing to do with it. Now sit down, Geronimo. This is Mr. Brown, cause he smells like a toilet. All right, Dale, I mean Mr. Red. You're gonna shoot an arrow through the window so I can shimmy up. But I'm terrible with a bow and arrow. I thought you said you was an engine. I, mean, I thought this was gonna be a sex orgy. All right, meeting's over. Cheech, you ain't in charge no more. Well, I had a good run. Today's modern woman faces many challenges, but none compare to the very real problem of BAS. Phony ass syndrome. Oh, here we go. Ladies and awkward teen boy, I give you... Hang on. Ass jacks! Whoa! I'd love to get one of those for my girlfriend. If I, you know, had a girlfriend. Hey, this is fun! Now I see why guys like me so much. Teresa, it's great you're applying yourself to something besides boys. But this is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. Well, Ma, the stupidest thing you've ever seen is setting the Twitterverse on fire. Who the hell goes on the internet to look for big butts? Judging from Ask Jax's followers, flat-bottom girls with low self-esteem who want to jack up their asses. And a lot of dirty old men. Probably not our target market. Those are my Instagram followers, you idiot. <laughs> Look at all the orders rolling in for Ass Jax. I never thought I'd say this, but Teresa, you're brilliant. I don't want to rain on your parade, but how are you going to fill 510, 12, 50 orders? Ma, you just don't have any vision. Oh, my vision's fine. I see a bunch of kids who think they're going to make a mint off rubber underpants. But, Mom, pre-sales like this mean startup capital and... Save it for the shareholders, Mr. Google. <laughs> Teresa, as your IT manager, I recommend myself for VP of Sales and Marketing. Hmm. I'd have to see a resume. Resume. But I stand on my experience. Remember those great ideas I had for Pop's business? What? Like the public transit getaway? What do you mean, exact change? Will you just go? I propose we make a web commercial. Keep this synergy going. I have no idea what synergy means, and that impresses me. You're hired. All right, this'll be a cinch. We sweet talk his secretary, get in his office, and grab the envelope. <laughs> Say no more, Jimmy. They don't call me old sugar lips for nothing. Hey, pal, is Premier O'Shea's secretary around? If you mean administrative assistant, that's me. A man's secretary! Abort! Abort! <sighs> What's wrong with you? Guys can have lady jobs, it's the 20th century! I got spooked, but this is good. Now that it's a guy, we just rough him up and barge in. In a government building? Are you nuts? We gotta go back to that drawing board. Sounds good. Now I can finish that picture of a duck. Where's my crayons? Our first commercial. I'm so excited. How can you be in a commercial? We're in witness protection. Mom, it's all right. We thought of that. Watch. Hey, girlfriend. Do boys ignore you because you have a small bony ass? Then you need Ass Jacks. With Ass Jacks, you get so many guys, you'll have to beat them off with a stick. In fact, you'll be beating guys off all over town. You can wear ass jacks in the club. Shake that thing. Up on charges, wear ass jacks to court. Ass dismissed. You can even wear them to church. Bless me, Father, for I have booty. Don't be a jackass. Go to assjacks.com and order your ass jacks now. Now what are you gonna do? You actually gotta make the damn things. Ma, we're already on it. Wow, how'd you do this? Simple, I had a vision and told Petey to make it happen. At first we considered outsourcing to a Chinese production facility. But then Petey reminded me that they have a terrible Hunan rice recipe. Human rights policy. Whatever, 
Anyway, as a job creator, I wanted to keep the factory here in the state of Regina. But I crunched the numbers and the labor costs would kill us, so we automated. I gotta say, I'm impressed. This is a hell of an operation you got here. Now, if you'll excuse us, we gotta move some latex butts. <laughs> move it or lose it, toots! Hello! I'm the Minister of Fish, Wildlife, and uh, Nuclear War. We need to get into the Premier's office. Oh, yes, sir. I'll open it right up. Wait a second. How can you be the Minister of Fish, Wildlife, and Nuclear War when he's standing right over there? Hello! I told you we should have used Mr. Brown. I got a slide. Talk to you. <gasps> Straight from the breeder. Oh, oh, what a sweetie! I'm gonna call you Minxie. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Where the hell did all this crap come from, Teresa? Who's paying for this? I am. I've been pre-approved for like a zillion credit cards. This is just like with your boyfriends. Have fun now, pay later. Oh, you're just bitter because you never did anything with your life. Excuse me? Never did anything with my life? I raised three kids. Ooh, three whole kids. Talk to me when you raise an empire, Ma. Security! Gina, get your hands off me. Take it easy. You don't want to slip and fall. Repeatedly. Onto my boat. So you're a goon for your sister now. She signs the checks. I got it! What the hell is that? You're supposed to get an envelope. Aw, oh, crap. Wrong building. I'll go put it back. Where's my stuff? I returned it all. My handbag collection? Returned. My diamond tennis bracelet? Returned. The meat dress I bought off Lady Gaga? Cooked it for dinner. Really? You just made a $20,000 meat sauce. This isn't fair. Why are you doing this to me? <sighs> I'm trying to teach you about personal responsibility. The ex-stripper mobster's wife is going to tell me, the CEO of Ask Jax, about responsibility. Do not talk to me like that, young lady. My house, my rules. Well, then, maybe I won't live in your house, you jealous cow. Where are you going? I'm taking my operation overseas. And by overseas, I mean downtown. Go ahead and move out. You're never going to make it. This town's going to eat you alive. And your little dog, too. You're going to come crawling back. You'll see. <laughs> My baby. <laughs> this meat sauce tastes like sweat. Ma? How'd you find me? Ah, oh, right. This is the living room, and this is a room for the Siamese. Your cats have their own room? What cats? The one on the right doesn't actually work here. Popo? Tea. Special blend. What's with the munchkin? That's Popo, my Burmese manservant. He does what you do, only more and better. Teresa, I'm trying to mend fences here. I'm in a condo. There is no fence. What's in there? The Ask Jack's nerve center. Eat it, Koji-san. We're the ones with leverage. Don't make me Fukushima your face. Mom, we're busy in here. <sighs> oh, this tea's tasty. It's a blend of jasmine, oolong, and great white shark semen. Teresa, I know you're mad at me, but I miss you. I want you to come home. I'll even take off the ankle cuff. Does this mean no more breathing down my neck and getting on my back about boys? We'll work it out. I'll try not to get on your case so much, but there's got to be some give and take. Oh, it is kind of lonely here at the top. I'll think about it. Hold on, I got to take this. It's my attorney's. Oh, oh God, I hope she comes to her senses. <laughs>
Minxie? Minxie, wake up! Yo, Minxo, up and at him, come on! Oh, great, you killed the freaking dog! Now Teresa will never come home! Hmm. Nah. Sorry, Minxie, nothing personal. Right, you are a jealous cow! But to take it out on poor Minxie? <gasps> you know, my lawyers told me to get legally emaciated. I wasn't gonna do it, but now I am! You're thin enough, young lady! No, wait! Emancipated! It means I'm being freed from ya, like the slaves were in the 60s. You're divorcing me? That's it! Petey, Gina, let's go! Hey, hey, they're still on the clock! Get in the car, now! This is kidnapping! They're my kids. I'll nap them all I want! Ha <laughs> ha! Who got the leverage now, Petey san <laughs> Here, let me get the rope. How do you do that? Do what? I got it! I can't wait to see them pictures. <laughs> you can't wait to see naked pictures of McCool? What? I like photography. Now we're talking. It ain't a real heist unless you're spilling blood. Crap, it's O'Shea. Oh, me darling. Let me show you the end of me rainbow. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You think they're doing it? Petey. Are you wearing ass jacks right now? No. Good. Then it's safe to sit down. Check the link I sent you. <laughs> the ass jacks are fine until you try to sit down. <laughs> o. M. G. <laughs> There's so many lawsuits, I stopped counting. It's over, Teresa. What about my money? If I were you, I'd put on a ball cap and sunglasses and get the hell out of that building quick. Oh, Popo. At least I'll always have you. Actually, my name is Edward and my paycheck bounced. So I ate your dog. Ah, there, I'm done. <laughs> All right, me darling. Back to Vegas with you. Uh, good morning, Premier O'Shea. Uh, a few days ago, I inadvertently sent you some personal mail. I've come to apologize and beg your forgiveness. Grab it off the desk, boy -o. I'm hitting the showers. Can't run the government covered in body glitter, smelling like a Reno cat house. Stompin' Tom Connors! What are you two doing in here? We was saving your job. You owe us one. Boy, listening to a guy hump all night sure makes you hungry. Wanna get some sausage? Why are you wet? It's not even raining. You were right, Ma. I'm crawling back, broke, homeless, and unemployed. Go ahead, say I told you so. I think you learned a bigger lesson than I ever could have taught you. I sure did. I learned if I'm gonna take a pregnancy test, I should do it at the mall bathroom. That's what you got from this? Nothing about being responsible or thinking before you do stuff. Uh, nope. Ah, oh, forget it. I'm just glad you're back. Oh, boy. Ah! <sighs> it's good to be home. How you doing? I'm Gina Falcone. You can put a gun to my head, but I ain't calling myself McDougal. My pop used to be the capo in a New York crime family. That was great. Everywhere I went, I was treated with respect. Hey, Gina, good to see you, kid. 
Here's a hundred. Get yourself a lollipop. I talked with that dentist of yours. You won't be getting any more cavities. That was all about to end. Because anyway. my Uncle Cheech started shooting his mouth off. The Don ordered a hit on him, but my Pop didn't have the stones to do it. So while Pop was begging the Don to spare Cheech's life, I decided to make my bones and take Cheech out. And then Pop had to go and screw it up. I guess Pop did have stones, just not a lot of brains. And that's how we wound up in Lady Part Saskatchewan. It's okay to say it, sweetie. Regina. But if you think I like being here, you can fucking. Oh, language! What the fuck's wrong with you? Forget about it. Let me tell you something about a friend of ours named Jimmy. I made the wise guy and the capo with the gambini. But when he found out that they'd be whacking Uncle Cheech, he take the boss, he threw him from the 19th floor suite. Wasn't much along till the mob all wants him dead. So Jimmy had no choice but to talk to all the feds. The feds say they helped if they could use him as a pawn. So he ratted out his friends and moved to Saskatchewan. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. Oh, forget about it. Are your fingers tired at the end of a long day? They are. Are you still dialing the phone by hand? I am. Do you sometimes not point because you just can't be bothered? That's me. I hate pointing. With Superfinger, you'll never have to lift a finger again. Oh, that's handy. Oh. Fingery. <laughs> but wait, there's more. It also scratches, pokes, taps, and picks. It's super. Now 1-800-FINGER-ME-NOW. Welcome to Superfinger. Enter your credit card number now. Wait a minute. We don't have a credit card. Enter your credit card number now. I said I don't have a credit card. Do you take cash? Sure. Really? No. I'll give you a super finger. Jimmy, do you know what I do all day when you're at work? That's between you and Dr. Oz. I drive around town paying our bills in cash. I'm tired of living like this, and I'm sick of lugging this around. Don't you think it's time we got a credit card? What are you talking about? You got lots of those. None with my real name on them. Besides, McCool took them away. Like it's a crime to use someone else's credit card. Ah, you don't want one of them. What if someone steals it? Buys an Asian bride off the internet. You bad man! You promised better life! Jimmy, I want to live beyond our means, like normal people. All right, Cook. If you want a credit card so bad, I'll get you one. How the hell do you get a credit card? It's easy. You steal a lady's purse, you take her card. Bada boom, bada bing. I mean legitimately. I got nothing. Oh, for Christ's sake, you open a bank account! Fine! I'll dig up the nest egg and put it in the bank! You don't gotta yell. Cheech, get me a shovel. No problem. Ming, jump what cha? Get your own damn shovel! In layman's terms, the annual percentage. Geez, I never been in a bank for more than three and a half minutes. Boy, I miss those days. So, what do you think, sir? I think I could take this place in about two and a half. I meant in terms of interest. Hey, I'm here, ain't I? So did you want the low risk interest rate of 0.1% or did you want to lock it in at six? So I can have 0.1 or 6%. That's right. I'll take the six and you better have it by Friday. Sorry, old habits. <laughs> Your deposit slip? My life savings for a piece of paper and they call me a gangster. Holy shit, I'm rich! Cookie! I got you a little something. Yes! A credit card! My favorite piece of plastic that doesn't vibrate. Listen up, everyone. I learned a valuable lesson at the bank today. We're richer than we think. What are you talking about? It's easy. You had the nest egg I dug up from the yard with the money I stashed under the furnace minus the cash I sent to that Nigerian prince, and it equals... We're rich!
Jimmy, you gotta try this caviar and truffle sandwich. It's 600 bucks every time I take a bite, and it tastes just like chicken. Nah, I'm too full from the narwhal soup. We didn't spend too much yesterday, did we? Not at all. We bought mostly essentials. Ain't that right, Percy? What the hell? My credit card's declined. Last time someone declined me, I put their head in a vice. Run it again. Same thing. What's the problem? What's the problem? I'll tell you the problem. I got some moron up my ass asking what the freaking problem is. I don't believe this. Jimmy, give me some cash. Any chance we could run a tab? A super finger. Oh, I so want one of those. Mr. McDougal, your money is locked in for a period of no less than six months due to the high interest rate. I explain this all to you in great detail. Isn't there anything you can do? How about a loan? You know we're good for it. I'm sorry, Mrs. McDougal, but our records indicate that you recently went on an insane spending spree and are now at significant credit risk. Jimmy, what are we gonna do? What did he say, Cook? Holy crap! We're broke? <laughs> So now that all my money's locked up, I need you to float me for the next six months. I'm sorry, Jimmy, but it's against witness protection rules. After we set you up with your first job, your financial well-being is your own concern. I would love to offer you a personal loan. That's great! But I'm afraid I'm on a strict budget. Not only do I support Horse, myself, and a village of Bushman orphans, but every remaining dollar goes to my poor aging mother and her insanely expensive Bengay addiction. So you can't do nothing for me? Oh, contraire, my friend. I can give you something even better than money. More money? No. A money tree? No. A money factory? No. What the hell is better than money? If you see happiness or religion, I'm out of here. A vigorous pep talk. <laughs> At times like this, a man has to reach deep down inside himself to find out what makes him a man. To find wherein lies the root of his true character. Let me read you a letter from one of my orphans. <clears throat> Jimmy? Horse? Back to the zoo with you, mister. All right, everyone, listen up. It looks like we're having a small cash flow problem. If someone ain't paying up, I say go for the knees. Nah, Gina. Your mother thinks we gotta live economical for a while. So we're gonna have to cut back on a few things. Teresa, that means no new clothes. You mean no new clothes today, right? Gina, no betting on long shots. But old glue factory in the fourth is looking real good. And Cheech, no more booze for a while. Well, I had a good run. Someone spot me a bullet, I'll pay you back. This is great! Now we can implement all the green initiatives I've been suggesting. It'll force us to reduce our carbon footprint. We have to buy smaller shoes now, too? Screw this! I know how to make money. Teresa, you will not have sex for money. Mom! This is so unfair! Now you kids listen to your mother. I gotta run. I'm teeing off in an hour. Jimmy, you march right down to that tourism bureau and get your job back. And you can forget about golf. No more golf! Cheech, I'm calling sloppy seconds on that bullet. Hey! Can't believe we have to ride the bus. We're turning into those people who bring bags to the store because they can't afford plastic. Mass transit is good for the environment and reduces CO2 emissions. This is so unfair. How could Daddy expect us to live on zero dollars a day? That's almost nothing. What's the matter with you two? You've been living off a of pop like forever. Me? I've been earning for myself since preschool. You want something in this life? You take it. Simple as that. She's right. Not about the stealing, of course, but there are things we can do to make our own money, like collecting bottles for recycling. Really? Tell me more. Well, recycling saves resources, reduces smog. T -t 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 the money part. They pay for bottles so we can earn money and save the planet at the same time. Driver? Take me to where we save the planet! Sure! It's one stop past where we end world hunger. Stupid kid. Morning! Um, Jimmy? I don't think you... Sorry, can't talk. Lot of work to do. Gotta put the old nose in the grindstone, so... Oh, I'm sorry, Jimmy. But didn't you quit? What? 
quit? What are you kidding? I love this job. I love whatever it is we uh, do here. I'm sorry, but you were very clear that you wanted to terminate your employment. Toby, that's not my ass. My ass is in color. Jimmy, as much as I'd like to give you your job back, we've already hired someone else. <laughs> So fire him! No can do. Last time I did that, his union was all over me. So, did Toby give you your job back? Yeah, Cheech. My first day back and he gave me the day off. Well, looks like I gotta find some other job. Good thing you got the day off. You don't know what it's like out there, Jimmy. It's doggy dog. People killing each other to climb the corporate ladder. If you look the wrong way, somebody stabs you in the back. Hey, wait a minute. You know exactly what it's like out there. Yeah, I do. Who knows? Maybe I'll get one of them CEO jobs where I can screw up and ask for a bailout. I'm gonna get a job, too. Atta boy, Cheech. You think I got a good voice for phone sex? Yo, Ma, are we poor? No, Gina, we're not poor. We're just a little light right now. That's an actual thing? I thought it was something Deadbeat said when they don't want to pay. No, it's an actual thing. So, if you're not poor, why are you buying all this generic crap? Grumpy Green Giant, Hamburger Hindrance, Room Temperature Pockets? Who buys this stuff? Immigrants and hobos, honey. Don't forget the elderly. No one's talking to you, toots. <laughs> Teresa, just because it's called dumpster diving doesn't mean you actually have to dive. I know. You do. <laughs> How much did we make? Can you believe this is the only job we could get? I got 20 years experience running a family business, but no freaking references. You know who'd have been a good reference? Don Gambini. He thought the world of you. Until you whacked him. Welcome to Blue Ball Ranch, boys. What we do here is extract bull semen for export. And how exactly do we do that? Same way you do at home. You mean in front of the window, with the neighbors watching? <laughs> oh! Ah, God, my arm is tired. Your arm? Thirty-two bucks, that's it? A broad who does the same job gets at least 80 bucks an hour. A hundred if she does it like Cheech. I still don't understand what your job is, Jimmy. I don't bring my work home, unless it gets on my shirt. Well, you gotta find something else. We're barely scraping by. We can't pay our bills, and now Cheech is eating dog food. It makes my coat shiny. Cook, this is temporary. We'll get through it. Have I ever let you down? Not until now you haven't. What's this? A pawn shop ticket. I hawked my engagement ring to buy groceries. You did what? Well, someone has to provide for this family, and right now, that someone ain't you. I can't believe you sold it without talking to me. I was hungry. I couldn't think straight. I know things are bad, but look on the bright side. They can't possibly get worse. And they just got worse. Jesus, Jimmy, I'm blind. This is what we get for messing with them bulls. <laughs> Are you kidding me? What? I saw candles. I thought romance was in the air. Along with a hint of lavender. That's Cheech, burning furniture to stay warm. And you can forget fooling around. The mortgage company's breathing down our necks. If we don't pay on time, we lose the house. Ten minutes of sweaty groping ain't gonna help. Can't hurt. What? So now you won't sleep with me because I got no money? I won't sleep with you because I got no ring. It'd be a sin. What about our vows? For richer and for poorer? I'm an Italian girl from Brooklyn. I cross my fingers during the poorer part. What about during the obey part? Yeah, I'm sleeping on the couch, ain't I? Hey, where'd you get all that money? Do I ask you about your business? Listen, kid, you think you could loan me a few bucks? I might be able to help you out. You're a lifesaver. At 18%. What? That's crazy. That's highway robbery. That's... That's my girl. If you don't mind my saying, Pop, you're stooping pretty low borrowing money off a kid. Tell me about it, but I don't know what else to do. You can act like a man. What? I don't know what else to do. Get out there. Pull some jobs. 
There's banks, liquor stores, convenience stores, credit unions. And that's just robberies. You could be out there running numbers, pimping broad, selling protection, but instead you're sitting around like a schmuck. I don't even know you anymore. Jeez, maybe she's right. I got it. Ow! Oh, Jesus! Die! Jimmy, I've been concerned about your descent into abject poverty. How are things? To be honest, which is hard for me around cops, not too good. You're not considering a return to a life of crime, are you? To be dishonest, which is way more up my alley, no, not at all. Take solace, Jimmy. Sweet Mother Canada stands at the bottom of the abyss, waiting to cradle you in the silky embrace of her social safety net. Say again, in American? Tomorrow, I want you to march down to the Service Canada office and apply for employment insurance. What the hell is that? It's just like unemployment insurance, except they put a positive spin on the name so the indigent don't feel like enormous blood-sucking leeches. Which, of course, they are not. Who sucked what? Trust me, Jimmy, your adopted nation has your back. For Canada, where you can get money for nothing, but the chicks aren't free! <laughs> That didn't work. Next. Go on, Petey. I'm not sure about this. I love experiments. I just don't want to be experimented on. If you don't, Petey, they'll do it on an innocent little animal. Okay, okay, I'll do it. Great. How'd it go? I feel surprisingly fine. At first I was scared, but after the probe, everything went dark That's and- That's great. Where do we get paid? Will there be any side effects from this? Absolutely not. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. It says here you quit your full-time job, which means you're ineligible for employment insurance. Who, me? I didn't quit. I quit. So you're telling me I don't even qualify for a handout? Next in line. Yeah, but- Next! All right, my wife don't respect me, my daughter thinks I'm a schmuck, and I'm gonna lose my house. Time to go back to work. And by work, I mean crime. Crime? Why didn't you think of that before? The answer was right in front of you. Sometimes I wonder about you, Jimmy. You know, I'm starting to think you care more about money than you do about saving the Earth. That's ridiculous. I totally care about the Earth. I also care about the Russian businessman who lives on the Earth and happens to need your kidney. My what? <gasps> Are you guys going to take long? Of course not. Now we must take organs while fresh. <laughs> Hey, sleepyhead. <gasps> so, 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 so cold. Yeah, about that. I had a slight miscommunication with these guys. I thought they were just taking a kidney, but they wanted everything. Heart, lungs, even your doodad, which the one guy wanted for a necklace. What? But I couldn't let them do it. Oh, thank God. Petey, I may have been using your dumb infatuation with the Earth to get important things like money, and I'm sorry. I know, it's okay. In the end, you stuck up for your little brother, which warms my frozen heart. Your heart could have got me 10 grand, but I'm glad it's still inside you. Ah! You're freezing, you little freak! You're trying to kill me! Man, I've been keeping a lid on my criminal side so long, I feel rusty. Ah, that's better. I could rob that jewelry store or snatch that lady's purse Hell, I could do both. Rob that jewelry store and then carry the jewels home in the purse. Good thinking, Jimmy boy. Nah, if I'm gonna do this, gotta be something big. Bingo. Oh man, what the hell am I doing? What are you waiting for? Some idiot left the keys in a truck full of money. Don't do it, Jimmy. If you get caught, that will mean the end of your witness protection. I ain't getting caught. But if you do, I can no longer protect you. Like you need this Gavon to protect you. Jimmy, you would be endangering the lives of your family. 
McCool's right, Jimmy. Yeah, Pop, don't do it. It is a lot of money, though. Teresa! I'm just saying. What? You guys took all the good costumes. All right, I made up my mind. I'm pretty sure I can risk it. Jimmy, no! But I won't risk it for my family. I already put them through this once. I ain't gonna do it again. Hurry! Oh, can <laughs> Hurry up and steal the truck. I need booze money. I just hallucinated little people crawling all over you. Hey! Some idiot left the keys in this truck. Well, Jimmy, I guess it's back to jerking bulls. Remember the old days when we were short on cash? We'd just throw a junior good fella under a bus and fleece the transit company for the insurance. Oh, yeah. The good old days. Can I wash these down with a little scotch? Nope. Doctor's orders. I'm sorry for everything I put you through, Cook. I got you a little something. Oh, Jimmy. I love you. Jesus Christ. Give me a bottle. I'm hallucinating again. <laughs> Welcome. Bienvenue. My name is RCMP Special Agent Straight McCool. I was just your ordinary run-of-the-mill Mountie until that day I first heard the name Jimmy Falcone. I'd like to request a transfer, sir. Again? You'd be my best agent, but you've got ants in your pants. I put you on vice, narcotics, homicide. You've cleaned up the entire west side of this country. What's even left for you? Witness protection. What? Forget it. Not a chance. Reforming the most hardened American criminals and turning them into respected members of society. What a challenge. What an honor. Can't do it, McCool. You're too valuable to me on the streets. I want the Falcone case, Chief. Nay. I demand it. Don't you name me, mister. You're too high up for a job like that. I'm not going to demote my best officer just because he wants to join the babysitter's club. I had to take action. Perhaps there was something I could learn from Jimmy Falcone. You are so demoted. And that, kind viewers, is how I received this assignment. And I won't rest until this ragtag American household becomes the epitome of fine Canadian citizenship. And if you think I'm ever going to give up on this family... Vagina! You can forget about it. Let me tell you something about a friend of ours named Jimmy. I made the wise guy and the couple with the gambini. But when he found out that they'd be whacking Uncle Cheech, he'd take the boss, he threw him from the 19th floor suite. Wasn't much along till the mob all went in dead. So Jimmy had no choice but to talk to all the feds. The feds would say they helped if they could use him as a pawn. So he ratted out his friends and moved to Saskatchewan. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. Oh, forget about it. Next item on the agenda. As you know, the annual Regina Winter Carnival is here, and one of us will be spending the week manning the tourism booth. Hold up. Did you just say one of us gets a week off to go to a carnival? Well, not so much a week off a as week a... week off, since man. I, I would kill for that. Hell, I used to whack guys for a lot less. I once whacked a guy just for a Klondike bar. I should write the company and tell them that. They're always looking for positive testimonials. And since I've done it for the past five years, I've decided I should be the one to go. Hooray! Wait. No. Actually, I think it's great that you're going to go to this carnival instead of me. It'll give me a chance to try out some new ideas around here. N new ideas? I was just thinking I'd reorganize the files, clean out the Rolodex, move all the bats and bites on the computer. You won't even recognize the place when I'm done. I have an idea. You go to the carnival. Oh, all right, fine. But you owe me. Cookie, you ever see that Tom Cruise, Dustin Hoffa movie, It's Raining Men? For argument's sake, I'll say yes. So, this guy has an artistic brother. He's terrible with the socialism, but he's like some kind of superhero. He can count cards. It's hardly a superpower. So, I've been thinking, PD stinks with people. You ever think maybe he's one of them artistics? Watch how you talk about my son. Ah, he doesn't know what I'm saying. What you making there, sport? It's a high-energy particle accelerator in a bottle. It's like a ship in a bottle, but mine's a miniature high-energy particle accelerator, and it's fully functional. Ain't that something? But you can't go to the store by yourself. Of course I can. Wait. 
You think I'm autistic? I'm not autistic, and I take offense to your autism stereotypes. Autistic individuals are people like you and I, and have a lot to offer their communities. Petey, where'd you go? Retard land. So, as I was saying, how many toothpicks? Three. Look at this guy. A freaking genius. Hey, hey, hey! Who wants to go to a winter carnival? Oh, a family outing. I've been going stir-crazy here all week. It's always, Mommy this, Mommy that, can I have this, can I have that? He took my this, she took my that, Mommy, Mommy, Mommy. Ugh. It's not about you, kids. A carnival? No one but rubes and easy marks go to carnivals. <gasps> okay, I'm in. I am so going to win Carnival Queen. Do I have time to throw up or should I purge on the way? You ain't going nowhere, kid. We gotta practice. How many cards am I holding up? One? There'll be no stopping them. Okay, later. See ya. Oh, Jimmy, a sleigh ride. Let's go. Just you and me keeping each other warm, making people uncomfortable, watching us doing it in public. <laughs> oh, it'll be just like old times. Maybe later, honey. I gotta go work the tourism booth. What, you're gonna leave me here all alone? Some husband you are. I know that was sarcastic, but thank you. Say aw. Uh... Mommy will be back soon. Have fun. Wow! Mamma mia, that's an icy meatball! Did you make this? You like? I'd done a lot of ice pick work in my day, but never with actual ice. Would you like to give it a try? Thanks, but I got my own. Turf, Oliver. And now for everyone's favorite event, where the ladies really get to strut their stuff, it's Parka Time! This is ridiculous. How is anyone gonna know how hot I am? <gasps> All right, who wants to see a wet t-shirt contest? No! Hey, that's my talent. Why can't we go to the carnival? Just count the cards and we'll do whatever you want. Come on. One, two, three, after three, next after three, next after that. Come on. Tell me when we get to blackjack. That's not how card counting works, Uncle Cheech. The idea is to know when there's a concentration of high cards in the deck which favors the player. You assign positive, negative, or zero values to each card and keep a running count. And I'm not autistic! I wonder what goes on in that tormented brain of yours. He's magnificent. I've never seen anything like I've it. I've been to New York. It looks just like that. Who is he? Yes, who is he? Sweet Lady Gaga, is that who I think it is? And he's brilliant. The gentle touch, the keen eye. How could this be? He'll be famous. He'll be revered. And revealed. Oh, this is terrible. His enemies will find him and kill him. This is the best ice sculpting I've seen since Ice Pick McGee. I'm going to put you on the cover of Life magazine. Let's see what's under that scarf. Oh, no. I must create a diversion. Face off! Works every time. Jimmy, a word. Sup? You magnificent bastard. You're truly gifted and must never do this again. Oh, come on. I'm really good at this. And I never been good at nothing, except gangstering. Look what I made. It's a work of... What's that word? Rhymes with fart. I'm sorry, Jimmy. It's too high profile. It'll make you famous. <whistles> Two minutes roughing! 
Your enemies will find you and kill you. But it pains me to hide your talents from the world. But I don't want to see you dead. But to not let you share your gift would violate the laws of truth and beauty itself. You done arguing with yourself yet? Yes, no, maybe... No, yes. Come on, McCool, I'll wear my disguise. I won't tell anyone, not even Cookie. No one will know. I'd like to believe you, Jimmy, but I've met you. I swear on the lives of my children. All right, but you'll need a fake name. We'll call you... Jinxie. What, asshole was already taken? Bad omen, kid. We'll come back tomorrow. It's 3 a.m. Where the hell you been? Cook, you have no idea how much work it is. All those tourists needing directions, pamphlets, ideas of things to do. They just take and take. I got nothing left to give. The carnival closes at 10. Where the hell you going each night? Jimmy, tell me the truth. Are you going back to crime? No, I promise. That means you're cheating on me, you piece of shit. Get the hell out. This ain't your bed no more. Cookie, I ain't. I promise. Come on. I'm too tired to argue. I'll sleep on the couch. Oh, Virgin Mary, I need you. I don't know what to do. My husband, I... I think my husband is cheating on me. All right, girlfriend, spill. Tell Mama everything. Don't leave out one juicy detail. I don't know. He comes home late every night, exhausted, but with a big smile on his face. He won't tell me why. Does he still want to pluck you? I don't know. I try, but he, he just rolls over and falls asleep. Oh, yeah. He's cheating. Uh -huh. What, you want me to lie to you? He's a guy. If he ain't getting it from you, he's getting it from someone. Okay, okay, quit your blubbering. Look, Joseph wasn't giving me the time of day either. Then I hop into bed with God, suddenly he's all over me. Throwing a party in a manger, showering me with gold and frankincense and myrrh. Like I need any more f***ing myrrh. So get out there and make him jealous, girlfriend. Sleep around and win your man back. I could never do that. I took a vow. I... I love my husband. <laughs> Fat freak. <laughs> All right, but don't expect someone to magically appear in the middle of the night and do ya, because that's only happened once. Thinks he can leave me home every night. Well, I don't have to stay home. I can have fun without him. So this is that jinxie everyone is talking about. Wow, it really is beautiful. Dogs playing hold up. Skater getting whacked in the kneecaps at the Olympics. Swan and... Mistress. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Cookie. Why are you crying, uh, miss? <laughs> it's... It's just so beautiful. <laughs> and so sad. Sad? Why sad? Because he's cheating on his wife. <laughs> like my husband is cheating on me. On you? No way. I... He... Have to be a total moron to cheat on a classy broad like you. You're just saying that. No, I ain't. I'm sure every day he thinks about how special you are and how lucky he is. And if he ain't, then he don't deserve you. How you doing? I'm Jinxie. You're Jinxie? Oh, I love your work. It's inspired. You touch me deep in my soul. In a way I never felt before. I was just about to say the same thing to you. Now you're making me blush. Jinxie! I didn't tell you to stop. <laughs> Will you excuse me a minute? What? Can't a guy flirt with his own wife anymore? Remember your promise, Jimmy. She doesn't even know it's me. I could have some fun with this. Sounds kind of twisted. I know. How often does a guy get a chance to seduce his wife a second time? Well, just be careful. Hey. 
Like I'm gonna catch anything from my own wife. I'll wear a rubber. I don't feel right about this, Uncle Cheech. Gambling is wrong. So it ain't. How do you think I won my third wife? Here, have a drink. Is this alcohol? But I'm a minor. Relax. I put it in your sippy cup. Don't worry, he's got a fake ID. And keep them coming. 21. Player wins. <laughs> Stand, split, double down, stand. <laughs> Another round for all my friends. And a little extra something for you, Pits. Oh, I created a monster. It's beautiful. A pale imitation of the real thing. Oh, Jinxie, I've had such a wonderful time tonight. I don't want it to end. Maybe it don't have to. But, Jinxie, I'm a married woman. You deserve better. You deserve the best. I shouldn't. Yeah, you should. I shouldn't. Yeah, you should. Mm. 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 Oh, it's on. That was amazing. You were amazing. Am I ever gonna see you again? Tomorrow too soon. I got a big show, and it would mean a lot to me to have you there in my corner. I wouldn't miss it. Good night. Good night. Oh yeah, I still got it. Jimmy Falcone still got it. Wait a minute. She didn't know I was me. She thought I was him. Holy crap, my wife just cheated on me. All right, Jimmy, calm down. Go to your happy place. Cookie is your wife. By definition, that means no cheating has taken place. But she didn't know it was me. She thought she was boffing Jinxie. And you are Jinxie. Ergo, she was boffing you. Yeah, with her body. I'm talking about her mind. What does she see in this guy? I repeat, this guy is you. Well, what do I got that I don't got? Jimmy, I'm afraid I can't help you on this one. So I bid you adieu. For Canada! where we keep adultery in the family. Okay, it's time to put on the charms and win back my wife from that son of a bitch, me. So listen, about last night. What? What about last night? I'm sorry I've been working so hard. I know I ain't been a Model T husband lately, but it's a new day and I'm here to make things right. Now, I don't want to come off mushy or anything, but you want to get nailed? Tell you what, you go upstairs and get started, then finish without me! Jinxie! Hit me! Kid, you got 20, you gotta stand! You shut your face, old man. Nobody tells me what to do. I said, give me the ace. Holy crap, it's an ace! Woohoo! I knew it! I counted them! <laughs> you see that? I counted them! I'm a card counting mother f I'm autistic, bitches! You and me, kid. We're going all the way. I knew it from the day you was born. There was something special about you. Sir, would you come with me, please? i never seen this kid before in my life. Good evening, everyone. I'm Brad Wickers, along with Sal Foster. And what a treat we have in store for you tonight. It's... Jixie versus Block of Ice. Sal? As you can see, Block of Ice dominates in height and weight, but Jinxie enjoys speed and a definite reach advantage, so anything can happen. Ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've been waiting for. The Fighting Iceman, the chip of the old block, the pick of Regina, Jinxie!
I must break you. Cookie. Cookie! I love you! I love you too, Jinxie! Jinxie? Jinxie! You bring shame and dishonor to our proud establishment. You can't prove nothing. I'm a card count, mother f That could be anyone. You have disrespected our house and our house rules. In return, we shall confiscate your winnings. Over my dead body. Such arrangements are possible. Wait, Uncle Cheech, he's right. This is no place for a 15-year-old. It's not even legal for me to be here. Let's go. I should turn myself over to the gambling authority. Whoa, 15, you say? Uh, let us not be hasty. No need to get the authorities involved. You may keep your winnings. Go in peace, head shaped like egg. Ooh. You done good, kid. Real good. Thanks, Uncle Cheech. You know, I'm still not really sure why I said and did all those things I normally would never do. Yep, booze has a way of doing that to you. But be careful. You'll go to bed with some very beautiful women. Yay! And wake up with some very ugly ones. Oh. But they're still women, right? Not if it's tequila. Stop picking your nose and start picking the ice, you bum! I'm so confused. The more I'm Jinxie, the more Jimmy loses Cookie. But if I'm Jimmy, then I can't be Jinxie. Do I do my art and lose my wife? Or do I do my wife and lose my art? Or do I do a doobie and put on some Pink Floyd? Have you ever seen anything like it, Sal? No. And I once saw a donkey show in Tijuana. Jinxie is Jinxie! Hey. Go hey. back to making ace cubes, ya bum. Your work is derivative. What a debacle. And there you have it, arena ice sculpting. Wow, what were we thinking? All right, well, that's it from the Friendly Giant Arena in Fugly Downtown Regina. Stay tuned for Degrassi, the midlife crisis years. This seat taken? That depends. You looking to sit down next to a bum? You stop right there, mister. I don't care what anyone else thinks. You're not a bum. You're Jimmy Falcone. You know? What, you think I've never seen you in a nylon stocking before? And they're my nylons. Plus, you used your normal voice, you big dope. I knew from the beginning. I never could put anything past you, Cook. I'm sorry I neglected you and made you think I was cheating on you and lied to you and seduced you and banged you on a block of ice. I'll never do most of it again. You kidding me? That was the best sex I ever had. It was like you were my husband, but you weren't my husband. Like forbidden fruit. And kind of kinky. Hell yeah. I'm just glad it's all out in the open, because... I couldn't take another guy getting with you, even if the other guy was me. It's all you, baby. It's all you. Uh, you mind putting the mask back on? Now that, people, is art. Help me! Help me! How you doing? I used to be Jimmy Falcone, a big shot in the New York crime family. Now I'm in witness protection in Canada. But I'll never forget that day. I was forced to leave the only home I've ever known. Cookie, kids, get your butts in gear. Let's get this vacation started. Canada awaits. Daddy, just because we're going overseas doesn't make this a vacation. I ain't denying it. I was in denial. I couldn't face the fact that I was leaving everyone I ever loved and taking my wife and kids with me. Isn't this fun? A family road trip. Who's up for another round of window uppy downy? Up, down, up, down. Whoa, up, up, he down. always knows what it's gonna do. All right, you'll be under RCMP protection from here on. Off you go. It's cool. <laughs> Welcome to Canada, bienvenue. Come along, I have blankets and whiskey for all of you. This will warm your cockles. If it's gonna warm my cockles, I'll need a bigger blanket. I'm Special Agent Straight McCool. My mission is to help you assimilate, keep a low profile, and ensure you don't violate our nation's laws. I'm sorry. Violate what? <laughs> what a spirited group. I loved this assignment the minute I was given it. Let the protection begin. Hop in. You gotta be shitting me. And then they took us to this crazy place called Vagina... Regina. Saskatchewan. But if any of you are thinking about a vacation up here, forget about it. 
Let me tell you something about a friend of ours named Jimmy. I made the wise guy and the capo with the gambini. But when he found out that they'd be whacking Uncle Cheech, he'd take the boss, he threw him from the 19th floor suite. Wasn't much along till the mob all wants him dead. So Jimmy had no choice but to talk to all the feds. The feds would say they helped if they could use him as a pawn. So he ratted out his friends and moved to Saskatchewan. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. Oh, forget about it. And in New York City, home of the Jews, the body of mobster Paul Vincenzo was pulled from the Hudson River. Foul play is suspected. Hey, look. Pooley the target got whacked. I can't believe it. He was always so careful. I wonder who did it. I'm guessing Vinny April did it. The Hudson's always been his go-to. Nah, look at the bruises on his face. Must have been Benny the Bruiser. My money's on Timmy, sissy bum. That guy will f you up. Two ones? Holy craps! Snake Eyes! It was my cousin Sammy. That's the worst nickname ever. No, it's my cousin, comma, Sammy. Comma, Sammy. That's even worse. Your nephew, Nimrod. Snake Eyes Sammy. The guy's in trouble. If we can figure out he did it, so can Paulie's crew, which means he's about to get whacked. I gotta save him. Ah, he's always about to get whacked. He's a good boy. You know, I still can't believe you stole Cookie from him. Whoa, I didn't steal no one. He was sent to Juvie, and Cookie needed his shoulder to cry on. All I did was show up with a hanky and a salami. You were so sweet, you big lug. You repoed my heart. And you stole mine. And then I stole you that necklace. So I hereby announce my candidacy for student council president. What's your platform? My platform? Thanks for asking, concerned student. If you elect me, I will ban all corporate sponsorship from school ground. Let's send the message that young minds are not for sale. Who's with me? That was painful to watch. What I have to say is important. I, I just can't get anyone to listen. Oh, little brother, you're so lame. The key to drawing a crowd isn't what you say, it's what you show. Thanks for coming to my brother's president thingy. We love you! And I have loved a ton of you. So I want you all to vote for my brother on the day you're supposed to vote, whenever that is. The issues. Tell them the issues. First off, more corporate sponsorship. <laughs> it's no more corporate sponsorship. Oh, it's just one word. It doesn't matter. More bullying. <laughs> it's no more bullying. You have to add the word no. Okay. No more funding for music and the arts. I got your message, Jimmy. How can I be of assistance? I got a problem. My cousin Snake Eye Sammy whacked Pooley the target. That's a serious accusation. I meant it as a compliment. But trust me, it was Sammy. He left his dice that always come up ones. All us wise guys have calling cards. My dad left an Italian sausage, Cheech left a cocktail onion. My calling card was a calling card. I figured I'd give the grieving family some minutes. I get that. Horse also likes to leave a calling card. Hey, same as Johnny Brand Flakes. You gotta get Sammy out of there. When police guys track him down, they'll torture him to rat me out. How could Sammy know where you are? I texted him. Mom, you have to talk Teresa out of running. She's just gonna embarrass herself. Petey, I think it's great that your sisters finally realize there's more to life than binging, purging, and shopping. Are you sure you're not a little threatened by your chances? Are you kidding? I'm totally threatened by your chances. That's why you gotta get her out of this. Petey, I'm not going to choose one of my children over the other. I love you all equally. You'll just have to make the best of it. Don't say I never do you any favors. I never say you don't do me any favors. Your whole job is doing me favors. I know, I just wanted a good entrance line. Hey, cuz, guess who? Sammy! Jimmy. <laughs> hey, everyone, Sammy's here. I'll leave you two to your embrace. But remember, Jimmy, you vouched for him, so you're responsible for him. Hey, how you hey, doing? Good to see you. Hey, how's it going? How is the trip, cuz? A breeze. Canadian cops are so freaking friendly. Which reminds me, 
I got presents for all of yous. Cheech, you son of a gun. Petey, you's getting so big. Teresa, holy moly, you must be the little squirt. And Cookie, I'm sorry I dropped your present in the squad car, but may I say, you look like a million. You're so full of it. Keep it coming. <laughs> Wait a sec. Is that pasta for Joel that I'm smelling? Your favorite. Welcome to rejoin us. Stun gun? Just what I always wanted. I'm a huge fan of your work, Cousin Snake Eyes. I can't wait to learn from the master. Ah! I'm all yours, kiddo, as soon as I'm done catching up with the real master. I am humbled to be in your presence. Really? I thought the folks back home would be mad about how I ratted everybody out. Ah, uh, forget the ratting. Concentrate on the killing. You whacked Don Gambini, for Christ's sakes. You're a legend. A legend? Really? You kidding me? Your nickname back home is the guy who whacked Don Gambini. Now that's a nickname. So much better than that Cousin Karma guy. The guy who whacked Don Gambini. It's got a nice ring to it. Wait, you saying I can go back home and they won't whack me? Oh, they'll still whack you, but with respect. Oh, that's so nice of them. But Sammy, I ain't like I used to be. I keep a low profile, stay out of trouble, and now you got it too. Sit down. Let me explain how life here works. Ah! Gina! If you're gonna have a stun gun, you gotta use it responsible. Give me that thing. First off, you gotta... Jesus! What's wrong with this? They used to have a safe... Take it! Just take it! Cookie, I'm sorry I dropped your present in the squad car. I feel terrible. But you look great. I had to give you something. So, here. Oh, that's beautiful! Wait a minute. Isn't this the same necklace you gave Teresa? No. Mom, I can't find my new necklace. Maybe. <laughs> Sammy, you haven't changed one bit. Neither have you, Cookie. You haven't aged a day since high school. Yeah, those were good times. Remember the time we made out in the confession booth? And confessed in real time? How could I forget? It was like, oh, God, Hail Mary. Oh, God, Hail Mary. <laughs> <laughs> and remember that time at junior prom when we kissed on the dance floor and the principal separated us so you gave him a wedgie? It was my very first kiss. And my very first wedgie. Mm. 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 Sammy, get out here. What are you drinking? So, that just happened. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Will you quit talking about my womb? Jesus Christ, you talk! It's not that big a deal. You got a light? I... I can't believe it. Yeah, I know it's bad for me. I'm trying to cut down. I tried the patch, that works for sh**. All right, let's get down to business. Your ex kissed you, and now you're feeling ashamed and conflicted. You know exactly what's going on in my heart. You're truly miraculous. You do know I'm a figment of your imagination, right? You're too modest. Whatever. These feelings you have are completely normal. You fell for Jimmy because he was a bad boy, but he ain't no more. Enter Sammy. And these feelings won't go away unless you do something about them. You think I should tell Jimmy? Hell no! Do you know how Joseph was when I had someone else's kid? moping and whining all the time. He wouldn't let it go. Always asking, who was bigger, Mary? Who was bigger? Who needs that, Zorus? So what are you telling me? Get it out of your system. Have some fun with a guy. <gasps> you mean commit adultery? I could never do that. Technically, you already have. No, I haven't. When Jimmy gives it to you, you think about Brad Pitt, Tom Cruise, Carrot Top. I don't know what that's about. The point is, it's a slippery slope. No, there's a big difference between thinking about someone and doing him. I cannot believe the Virgin Mary is telling me to have sex with another man. You're gonna burn in hell anyway, so what are you waiting for? These commandments aren't gonna break themselves. I figured I'd give you a tour. Get you used to your new home. Oh, after that meal, a walk's just what I need. Ain't nothing like that woman's cooking, huh? She's a real keeper. Yeah, Cookie's the best. So, you guys happy? Yeah, sure. For real happy, or I'm just saying that because I'm a married guy and I'm dead inside happy. Closer to the first one. On a scale of one to ten. Sammy, what are you getting at? Whoa, this is the little Italy in this town. Ain't it great? 
Sometimes we just come here and hang out for hours. How's the food? You kidding me? The place is run by a Chinaman. It won't happen overnight, but you'll adjust. See? Look at them. That used to be us. You're misremembering. We used to sneak up behind wimps like that and take their money. Then we'd force them to tell us where they lived and hold up their parents. Sammy, cut it out. Listen, going straight ain't bad. Especially in a city where there's, like, zero crime. Exactly. It's a freaking gold mine. We're gonna clean up here. No. Look, I pulled a lot of strings to get you into witness protection. Well, one. I only got one string, but I pulled it. So we can't live the old life. Now, come on. Let's go to Little Italy and get an egg roll. This is where I work. It's a good job. A great job. I love this job. Proud of this job. You believe me? Jimmy, this is my bad. I was probably unclear when I explained it. Our policy is that staples must be lined up vertically, not horizontally. That's it. Do you have ow, any ow, ow, idea ow, ow, who ow, ow. this man is? So, anyway, Toby, I was wondering if you could give my cousin a job. You'll just wind up making a fool of yourself. It's not like this is something you even care about. You're the one who'll make a fool of herself. You don't even have a platform. Hello? No, a platform is issues. A president should know this. You don't have any issues. Well, actually, you have lots of issues, but nothing to run on. Politics is a bitch. Bitch. Issues I'm, like, running on. If you elect me your school president, you will get to look at me all the time. And girls, if you don't vote for me, I will so screw you over. Thank you for seeing me, Jimmy. I didn't know I had a choice. Well, you didn't. I was being polite. Although I guess it was rude of me to say that, and for that, I'm sorry. Uh, me too? What's up? The crime rate, Jimmy. And I have no doubt that it's mostly due to your cousin Sammy. You can't prove nothing. Not yet, but it's just a matter of time. If Sammy goes to jail and talks, we'll have to move you to Quebec, and you have enough trouble with English. Do you really want to live somewhere where they speak French? I'm torn. I love their fries, toast, and kissing, but berets make my face look fat. I'm not kidding around, Jimmy. Get him in line, or else. For Canada, with a per capita murder rate only slightly worse than Denmark. I just spoke to McCool. You gotta help me with Sammy. What's wrong? The guy's robbing anything he could get his hands on, and he's gonna ruin everything for us. You're being too hard on him, Jimmy. <laughs> Let me see that. It's so much fun, Ma. Best toy I ever got. So this is what a stun gun looks like. Oh, my stun gun! <laughs> my stun gun! <laughs> so where was I? Oh, yeah, Sammy. You're being too hard on him. He's a bad boy, like you used to be. I think you're jealous. Why would I be jealous? Did I say you're jealous? I meant Sammy naked. I mean, how can I help? I can't watch him all the time. So when I'm at work and the kids are at school, you gotta keep an eye on his every move. You gotta be on him like white on rice. If he tries to get you off, you dig in and hold on tight. Where he goes, you go. When he comes... Stop it! What? I don't know. Look, Jimmy, as long as we're on the subject of Sammy, there's something I should maybe tell you. Oh, maybe I shouldn't. I don't know. I wish I could have some kind of sign telling me what to do. Guess who just robbed that bank? You idiot! <laughs> now that's what I call a sign. Do you know how much trouble you could get us into? Jimmy, let him go. Let's at least hear his side of the story. Fine. Thank you, Cookie. Okay, I staked out the bank, I hit the bank, I made off with the loot. What a me! Let me at him! Jimmy, stop! He's a reasonable man. Just talk to him. It took us a while to adjust to the rules when we got here. He's your cousin for crying out loud. Blood. Hey, everyone. I'd like you to meet my new doll. Kill him. And in second place, with 12 votes, 
Jason Hitler. <laughs> nine, nine, nine. Don't worry, mine Jason. There are better ways to seize power. And your new president with 33 votes, Peter McDougal. What? How could I not have won? Teresa, you never registered yourself as a candidate. But Petey said he'd do that for me. You didn't do that for me? Politics is a bitch, bitch. Whoa! What was that for? Jimmy saves your life, you do nothing but ignore everything he tells you, then you make a pass at his wife, and then you show up with some bimbo! In my defense, I made a pass at his wife and was turned down. That's why I got a bimbo. And what the hell did you kiss me for anyway? It really bothered me. Honestly, Cookie, I've been a wreck about it too. I got caught up in the moment. It was nostalgia. Old times. You look good. And you smelled nice. Knock it off! We may have to move because of what you've done. And as crappy as this town is, this is Canada. Things can always get worse. What are you thinking? I don't know, Cookie. I'm not thinking anything. I don't plan things. They just happen. I'm not smart like you and Jimmy and Cheech. We're out of cheese. Who? Where did all that come from? Sammy robbed the first vagina credit union. He's always been a good boy. No, it's terrible. McCool's already on to him. Sammy's gonna get arrested and we'll all have to move to Quebec City, France. I never liked that, Sammy. We gotta get them their money back, but without anyone knowing it was us who returned it. We gotta somehow break into the bank and make them take it back. The old reverse heist. Nobody freeze! Put your hands down and get up off the floor! Don't do what I say or you'll all get hurt. Exactly. Instead of our laws, we'll be in-laws. Hey, Jimmy, I've been thinking. I'm real sorry about all the trouble I caused. I'll do anything to make it right. You just name it. You're going to help Cheech and I return the money. Did I hear you right? You're going to take perfectly good stolen money and return it to a bank? Those crooks? I've never been so ashamed of this family. Gina. You broke my heart, father. It's go time, boys. Put on your masks. Too bad the mask store was out of friends masks. I had my heart set on being Rachel. Rock and roll. Everyone freeze! This ain't a robbery! Underground, you mugs. Now! Nobody be a hero! Now, what you're gonna do is, you're gonna open a safe, and you're gonna put this money inside it. Have you filled out a deposit slip? It ain't a deposit! Well, if you'd like to make an investment, you'll have to speak with Mr. Fielding. But he's on vacation till Thursday. I just want to give you this money! I can't process anything without an account number. Maybe this'll change your mind. <coughs> well? I can't process anything without an account number. This must be why the reverse heist never caught on. Just take it, will ya? We got made, dirty screws! What are you doing? I don't know. But we gave the money back! Jimmy! 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 What? Hi. Ah, oh, for f**k's sake. No! No! Don't you die on me, Sammy. Not now. Not here. Not like this. Looks like the bastards got me. Those bastards! It was just a matter of time. I lived a reckless life. I took too many chances. Plenty of unprotected sex. Shh, don't talk. And Jimmy, I gotta get this off my chest. When we was eight years old, I swept 20 bucks from my dad and blamed it on you. I know, it's okay. And when we was 14 
and you got caught with all that weed, I was the one who hid it in your locker. Shh, 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 save your strength. And when we were 16, and your sister got knocked up, that was me. You really gotta stop now. All this was a long time ago. And yesterday, I made a pass at your wife. Earlier today, too. You should probably die now. Okay. You do. Back in the day, keeping on God's good side was a big deal for wise guys. We racked up a lot of sins, and our life expectancy was anybody's guess, so you had to be ready. We had a guy, Father Santino, big into the Holy Trinity, also had a weakness for the Holy Trifecta. But he always lost. Which I figured was God's way of saying, hey, what the fuck you doing? So he borrowed from me. And since Goodfellas never had time for church, this was a chance to bring church to us. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned like fucking crazy this week. The convenience was undeniable, especially when a gang war broke out. Hey, Father, you had it. Oh, gotcha, Guido. Oh, crap, now I gotta go back in. It was all part of keeping a slate clean with the man upstairs. You confess to God, then the feds. You'd confess to anyone who'd listen, you rat fink stooly Judas! She's got a point, Jimmy. Shut up! But if you think I got anything juicy to confess since I moved to this unholy ice cube, forget about it! Let me tell you something about a friend of ours named Jimmy. I made the wise guy and the capo with the gambini. But when he found out that they'd be whacking Uncle Cheech, he'd take the boss, he threw him from the 19th floor suite. Wasn't much along till the mob all wants him dead. So Jimmy had no choice but to talk to all the feds. The feds would say they helped if they could use him as a pawn. So he ratted out his friends and moved to Saskatchewan. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. Oh, forget about it. Hey, everybody, guess what? I'm a hundred years old. That explains the dementia and the incontinence. And the dementia? I got a letter here from the Prime Minister congratulating me on my 100th birthday. Cheech, you're not that old. Think about it. When were you born? All I know is they found me in a Port Authority ladies' room stall sometime in June. Hmm, it's definitely from Ottawa. This must have something to do with your witness protection profile. You know, the files McCool gave us with our new identities? The ones we were supposed to commit to memory? <sighs> the ones he told us to guard with our lives. You mean the papers we used to prop up the wobbly toilet? Hey, I was born in a wobbly toilet. See, my file says I'm allergic to bananas. I'm not, but I avoid them to stay true to my new identity. And because they make me farty. Says here Teresa was born in newfound land. That place sounds totally made up. Yeah, well, says here Gina was adopted. I knew this rat bastard couldn't be my real father. I wish I was fake adopted. Oh, look, Jimmy. It says you and I met at a drive-thru. <gasps> I wonder where we got married. I wonder what we had. I hope it was burgers. No, it says we had tacos, and you finished mine. But there's nothing about our wedding. That's because Jimmy and Cookie McDougal never had one. <gasps> Page 37 in the appendix. You guys are listed as common law. Oh, oh. That's crazy! I don't even like tacos! <laughs> What's wrong with common law? It's progressive. So progressive, in fact, that you took Cookie's name, Jimmy. Uh, what was my maiden name? Kardashian Bin Laden Cosby. Yeah, no, McDougal's fine. It doesn't matter what our names are. We're both gonna burn in hell. But these are false identities. You still enjoy all the same legal rights as legitimately married couples. Ah! Sorry, that's a poor choice of words. If we're gonna live together under the same roof, we gotta get married in a Roman Catholic church, right where God, Jesus, and all the saints can see us. She's right. With all the things I've done, I'm walking a fine line with the man upstairs. God forbid, if Jimmy gets hit by a bus, I'll be left 
with an illegitimate bastard and two bastardettes! <laughs> I suppose a wedding couldn't hurt. It might even be fun. Perhaps I could help with some of the arrangements? Seeing as this unholy union of ours is your fault, you can arrange it all! Splendid! I'll get on it right away! Oh, Canada! Where living in sin ain't no sin at all! Hands off, Romeo. God's watching. I was thinking, with Ma and Pop getting married again, someone has to be best man. Oh my God! What are you doing, Uncle Cheech? That's Major Cheech to you, Private. And what does it look like I'm doing? It looks like you've been huffing my airplane glue again. I'm a hundred years old. What kind of man would I be if I never served my country? Pretty much the man you are. I ask myself not what I can do for my country, but what my country can do for me. This wouldn't be a ploy to get cheap beer at the Legion, would it? Bingo! I may not be a man of means, but I got a mean thirst. And Lord knows I earned it. Whoa! Ugh. I guess that didn't work out so well. It did! I got drunk, felt up a female amputee, and picked a fight with some Navy guys. They said to come back when I sober up. And you don't find any of this ethically troubling? I never had no trouble with ethnics. Rednecks, on the other hand, they're a pain in the ass. Now let's get back to base before curfew. Hoorah! Cookie McDougal, love of my life, will you marry me? Oh, 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 Jimmy, I didn't expect to get so choked up. Oh, here it comes. Third time's a charm, Jimmy. Oh, God. What'd you say, Cheech? I said, third time's the charm, Jimmy. I heard you, but what do you mean? Hey, he's talking out his ass, like always. No, I'm not. Third time's a charm. Means the third time you try something, it usually works out. I know what it means, but why'd you say it to Jimmy? He's probably been sniffing Petey's airplane glue again. Shut up! Cheech? Jimmy's proposing to you now. He proposed to you back in Brooklyn, and before that, he proposed to Marie. Ergo my ego, this is the third time. Need I draw a picture? Shut up, Cheech. Were you engaged when you met me? Now she gets it. In the military, they call this foobar. Means fucked up by a ring. What's the one way you get killed by your own men? Oh, that's getting fragged. You're about to get fragged, Cheech. And retreat! Cookie, where you going? You're making a big deal out of nothing. Being engaged and never telling me about it is nothing to you? Well, you never told me you were a stripper. You met me at a strip joint where I was stripping. Yeah, well, there's a difference between showing and telling. Now, come on back inside. I rented a tux for this. I don't need you and your secrets and lies. I don't need nothing from you. Now, can I please have the car keys? <laughs> so is that a no? Is this a good time to discuss the seating plan? I heard a yes. Congratulations, Jimmy. <laughs> I'll call you, Jimmy. Who? Oh, Eddie's Kowalski. Ow! Hey, the war's over, Johnson. Good bunch of fellas. Trust them with my life. Um, why is your sleeve pinned up? Cause I lost my arm at Iwo Jima. Or was it Korea? I wanna say Iraq, maybe. Drink up, it's on me. And the Canadian taxpayer. Cookie will come around, she's just confused and jealous. And wrong. I get confused and jealous. You don't see me throwing my skirt over my head and moving out. We do when you're drunk. She's just having trouble separating the before we met part with the after we met part. Which part are we in now? Oh, yeah, the drinking part. Barky, two more beers and a grape knee-high for Radar here. So, Ma, what are you gonna 
do now that you gave up your housewife job? I gotta figure out a way to be independent of that fat lion sack of shit father of yours who loves you very much. So obviously you're going back to being a stripper. Give me some credit. I wasn't a stripper. I was an exotic dancer. What's the difference? Pasties and a three-drink minimum. Girls, look, whatever happens, never forget. Your father and I both still love you very much. But now you're gonna compete for our allegiance, right? Who do we spend Christmas with? We get two Christmases, dumbass! I don't think Santa can be in two places at once, Gina. <laughs> Who names their store Bra Bra Bra? Uh, I'm too bored to even finish it. Actually, it's pronounced Bra 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 Bra. Oh, that's catchy. Can you direct me to your exotic dance wear? I hope I'm not being forward, but you should really consider the double-barreled blunder bust from Blender Bra. Here, I'll show you. For a rack like yours, it'll strike the perfect balance of lift and separation. There, you're locked, loaded, and looking good. Wow, the sleeping giants have awoken. You ought to hire her. That woman knows the way around a pair of tits. Cheech, did you by chance run into one of my teachers today? Affirmative. I was puking out front of the Legion, and we had ourselves a little chinwag. She invited me to talk to your school for Memory Day. Remembrance Day. Uncle Cheech, uh, permission to speak bluntly? I prefer English, but I'll try to follow. You have to stop posing as a veteran. Private, people need heroes. Someone to look up to, to remind them that freedom has a price. A price that can only be paid one beer at a time. Um, no. And what you're doing is reprehensible. Relax, I'll take care of the speech. You handle the moment of science. Did I say reprehensible? I meant completely insane! Huh? Oh, whatever this is, Cheech, I don't have time. Is Jimmy here? Someone needs to decide on invitations. Kobe rice paper or Venetian smooth? Everyone expects these things to just fall into place. Oh, and now I'm late for wedding band auditions. I'm this close to getting Loverboy back together. Hey, mister, quit cutting the line. Relax, lady. Do I look like I need a bra? Yeah, you do. And a girdle wouldn't hurt. <laughs> Cookie! Yo, cook! What do you want? I'm working here. Where, in here? <laughs> Get out of here, I'm busy. I went by your apartment. Gina says you're selling bras now? Yeah, and I'm doing real good at it. Look, I'm sorry you got jealous when you found out I was engaged. Now cut the crap and come home. How you doing? Why would I come home to someone who lies to me? I didn't tell you sooner because I knew you'd go all crazy. Apparently, I was right. Way to try to win me back, Jimmy. Now get out of here or I'll call security. Go ahead. I ain't leaving until you agree to be eternally bound to me in the eyes of God. Hey, that's not fair. Oh. <laughs> How am I supposed to fight back? <laughs> bra, 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 bra. May I help you? Oh, I think you're looking for bra, 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 bra. They're over on Dudney, but they suck. You should come here. Hello, Twinkie. Did Jimmy get laid off? It's okay. I'm sure your children don't need their mother anymore. Hey, Manabelle. Sorry, the washrooms are only for paying customers. I need a bra. Preferably not the tearaway kind you're accustomed to. Oh. You got what we call long-distance mm -hmm. cleavage. This bra will really bring the sisters together. Oh, I like it. It's made of memory foam, so you girls get that sleeping in their own beds feeling. <gasps> what the heck, Annabelle? No touching the lap dancer. I mean, bra fitter. I'm sorry. Uh, when you touched me, I... I had an orgasm. My husband hasn't been very affectionate lately. <laughs> How long is lately? Oh, who can keep track? I don't know. 168 days. Whoa! No wonder you're such a fing bitch. Tell you what, I'm off in 10 minutes. Let me buy you a box of wine. Just keep that tongue to yourself, hot lips. 
Finally, Jimmy, I'm so behind on the wedding plans, I can't even spare the time to rebuke you. Top priority, save the date cards, though I don't know the date or whom to send them to. Also, the DJ needs a song list or else it's all going to be new country. We're in the prairies, Jimmy. Get a hold of yourself, McCool. Change of plans. It's going to be an intimate ceremony where you get on the computer and make Cookie and me married. What? If Cook wants to leave me, she'll have to divorce me, which is a sin, so she won't. Bada boom. Happily ever after. Is this what Cookie wants? Who cares what she wants? Just make us married! Am I sensing some pre-wedding jitters here? It's perfectly natural to- She moved out and got a job. Sweet conscious uncoupling! She's your life partner, your soulmate, the mother of your children. I can't make you two married, only you can. By all that is holy, James Danger McDougal, go and win her back! Aw, oh, you really care about us, McCool. I'm touched. It's my special day, and it has to be perfect! Can you believe it? All these years, and he never mentioned he was engaged before. Shifty son of a bitch. So you don't keep secrets from Jimmy? No, I just lay it out there. If he doesn't like it, he can suck it. Oh, wait, there is one, but I'm embarrassed to say. Tell you what, I'll go first. <laughs> I never told my husband that our oldest boy is not actually his. Oh, yeah? I mean, Ted is such a great dad, and Donnie loves him so much, and I... Oh, I can't destroy that because of one passionate night with Ted's father. <coughs> <coughs> Jesus Christ, Annabelle! You had your father-in-law's baby? I know, I know. But see what I mean? Some secrets should really stay secret. So what's yours? I once had a reduction. And? Are you kidding? Jimmy'd never shut up if I told him. He'd be all, how could you do that to Betty and Veronica? He has names for my... Yeah, no, I get it. It's an honor to be here today. To remember those who fought so you little shits could have cell phones and open relationships. And if it weren't for guys like me, Private Ryan, Still be lost. In which case, no goodwill hunting. You're welcome. War is no bowl of raspberries. Living in that sweaty jungle, Charlie breathing down your neck. What? But when Colonel Potter says, take Cheeseburger Hill, you take it. Do you mean Vietnam? Canada didn't go to Vietnam. In honor of this suspicious occasion, I went commando when I got dressed this morning. My soldiers need to breathe. For them that can't no more. And like the flag outside, I too am at half best. Oh, oh, who is lost? this guy? All right, all right, everyone, shut your yaps. Let's get this minute of boring silence over with so we can go to the bar. <gasps> this fella's a phony. Yo, Bert, shut up. Have some respect for the fallen. He's not even a real amputee. Yes, I am. Ever heard of a phantom limb? Ooh, I'm the ghost of Cheech's arm. Let's get him! Oh, crap. I better fall back. <laughs> You'll never catch me, you old farts! <laughs> My God! Annabelle, honey, it's me. We need to talk. It's my husband. I called him to pick me up. You're out of wine. I'm sorry, sweetheart. It's just... I've been feeling self-conscious lately. And that's understandable. Ever since I put on this extra weight. Huh? Oh, Ted. I don't care about your weight. I love you, pudding guts. <clears throat> Let's go home. I'll get my coat. I'm Cookie, by the way. Uh, 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 sorry. Cookie! Cookie! What the hell? Well, ain't 
this cozy. All right, put him up, you son of a bitch. You think you can fool around with my wife? What? No, Jimmy, it ain't what you think. Ah, oh, crap, sorry. I didn't realize you was, uh, what did Toby call it at the seminar? Differently abled. Oh, so you're cutting me a break, are you? <laughs> you don't cut me a break. I cut you one. Want dance, motherfucker? Easy, platypus. <laughs> Boys, stop it! Ah! Unfair. He's at such a disadvantage. I'm sorry. Jimmy can be a real caveman. No, I mean it's unfair that Ted's going to beat up your fat, out-of-shape ex. Okay, bonding's over. Get the fuck out of my apartment. <laughs> okay, you got a lucky one in. Ah! Oh! All right, fight music. A one, two, a one, two, three, four. Enough? I'm just getting started. I'll fight for that woman until you beat me so bad I can't remember who I am. My name's Timmy, right? Uh, uh, Cook? Is that you? You here? Of course I am, you big lug. And I'm ready to answer your question. It's yes, right? Please say you'll marry me. How hard did he kick you? That's a yes! Ow! God! <clears throat> yes, I got ordained. You try finding a Catholic priest willing to marry a couple living in sin with three children. The ring, Jimmy. My best man's got it. It fell inside my cast. Who wants to reach in and dig it out? Oh, for Christ's sake. Ah! Hey, this ain't my ring. That was my new piercing! <laughs> <laughs> Greetings, friends and potential bullies. Before Pop bravely tattled on the mob, there was a time when he had to go what wise fellas and good guys refer to as straight. <laughs> Why are you crying? I just got this hard-ass parole officer who's <laughs> making me get a regular job! <laughs> That's for getting pinched in the first place. Once Pop's shattered testes healed, he was well on his way to rehabilitation. Give me two abortions in a basket, double tap and bloody rye toast. Coming right up! First National's got a payroll coming in. You know what to do. Confused, Pop. I understand why you work here, but why does Cheech? The guy likes eggs. What do you want from me? Okay, but Uncle Aldo also works here, and Uncle Sammy, Tootie Marcone, and isn't that Don Gambini delivering milk? <gasps> Petey, shut up. If I didn't know better, I think you were still running your organization under the very nose of the New York parole system. Kid, I'm on the straight and narrow. Just trust me, will ya? You once said that trust me was gangster talk for fuck you. Oh, if my suspicions prove true, I will be very disappointed, Pop. Very disappointed. Thanks for waiting till my kid left. All right, hands up! This is a bust! I had to do another 18 months because of your big mouth. Now that we live in Regina, Pop works a legitimate job every day, and I've never been prouder of him. That's for being a rat, which reminds me. If you think I'm ever gonna forgive you for that, forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. Oh, forget about it. Petey, I know what's going on in there, and it sure ain't clean. Your son's in there, pile driving his crotch into a coma. Bust the door down! Why would you want to see that? Oh. oh my god! Pull him up! He must have fainted from shame. What the hell? Between you and me, jerk Cousteau. 
That is not how you masturbate. So what the heck is an Ocean Lab 6? It's a three-month undersea education program I was accepted to, but it's prohibitively expensive. I was underwater so no one would see my tears. When it comes to my kids, there's no such thing as prohibitionally expensive. How much we talking? Whoa, yeah, that ain't happening. I've never had to say this in my life, but I can't afford that. Nice going. Now your father's drowning his sorrows in hot sauce, you selfish little prick. Leave him alone. It's not his fault I'm a worker day schmuck who can't afford underwater nerd school. <sighs> on top of that, I went and ruined my breakfast. I can help with one of them problems. I used to make this for Don Gambini. The man was a notorious overspicer. He'd cover his cannelloni in pepper flakes, and then he'd piss and moan about how hot it was. And when he pissed and moaned, chefs lost their thumbs. Holy crap, these taste like eggs again. The spice is gone. Like I said behind the Don's back, you're welcome, you whiny bitch. I think you got the solution to your money problem right there. Cookie's right. We could use this to extort every Indian restaurant in town. Pay up, or the Vindaloo gets it. Haven't you idiots figured out there's legal ways to make a buck? Course not. Luckily, I have. Now, let's go take the spice out of life. I thought your family could afford Ocean Lab. Teresa's always got so much expensive clothes and jewelry. She gets those from men I'm not supposed to tell my parents about. My family's taking me camping this weekend to cheer me up. Hey, do you want to come along? Maybe we could comfort each other in our time of mutual disappointment? I literally have no experience in this area, so I'm just gonna ask, are you coming on to me? <laughs> no, silly. Why would I do that? What are you even talking about? Yes. Well then, I'd love to go camping. In fact, I've already pitched my tent. <laughs> Welcome to Scorpion's Hive, the publicly funded show that provides investment opportunities for private venture capitalists. <laughs> Has this ever happened to you? Oh no, I overspiced my food. It's burning a hole in my tongue. Jimmy, you're supposed to be at work. Agnes, get back to the office quick. What if someone needs a map? Hey, lady, them spices hot enough? For you? My name is Neutralizer, and I'm here to say I'm gonna take all the spice from your spices away. Spice it, yeah. Spice it down. Oh, God, stop it. <laughs> Ming's right. Just tell us about the product so we can rip your new one. It's Spice Neutralizer. You sprinkle it on overly spicy food, and it kills the heat but not the taste. Who's your target market? Munja cake white people who can't handle a little pepper. What are your sayers, Digger? Hey, wasn't I married to you once? You look terrible, Cheech. Oh, glad I walk out on you. You bad man. What's your business plan? To make a crap ton of money and send my kid to space. I import knockoff yoga pants, Belgium video game, and spices. I'm out. Bad idea. As an Irish Canadian, I wasn't even aware food could be spicy. I'm out. I like this idea, but I don't want to invest in it. I prefer to license it from you. What's that mean? It means I do all the work, assume all the risk, pay you half the profits, and you do nothing. You've always wanted to do nothing, Jimmy. Hold out for less than nothing. Are you serious, Pop? You got the money? Yep. Looks like you are gonna be sleeping with the fishes. I know you didn't mean that the usual way, but I still peed my pants a little. What am I gonna tell Anna? She invited me camping so we could forget our Ocean Lab disappointment. Could you just enjoy something for once? What she don't know won't hurt her. Howdy, sir. I'm Ron, Anna's dad. This is my wife Bathsheba. I hope you're up for a rollicking kick in the pants adventure in the wilds of Saskatchewan, Petey. <laughs> And don't worry, I'll see there's no hanky or panky between these kids. We'll keep things as chaste and pure as our Lord Jesus. I'd say have fun, but that's clearly off the table. Bathsheba, stop staring at the man like a harlot. Okay, let's hit the road. 
Thanks for coming, Petey. I need at least eight inches between you two back here. Move your keister over, son. Let's pass the time with music. Oh, we're going to the mansion on the Happy Day Express. And the letters on the engine are J-E-S-U-S. <laughs> what do you mean you lost the spice neutralizer recipe? Wheatin's gonna be here any minute. Just write it down again. I would, but I can't remember it. I only got so much room up here. I can't rememberize the whole recipe and the names of all the hobbits. Ah, crap, that's Wheatin. Maybe it's in my other pants. You don't have other pants. Okay, okay. I'll scratch other pants off the list. But that is a lot of zeros. Let's count them again. One, two. If I didn't know better, I'd think you were stalling me for some reason. He's on to us. Forget it! Okay, look, Cheech lost the formula. We'll find it, we just need time. But I've already bought factories and hired sweatshop workers. Spice Neutralizer launches next week. I'm having several Spice Girls neutralized to mark the occasion. Touch Ginger and I'll cut ya! You have till Monday to produce that formula. Otherwise, I'll have to sue you for misrepresentation. Sorry, Jimmy. It's nothing personal, just business. You can't say that! That's my people saying! How does he do that? Cheech, if you don't remember that formula, Wheatin's gonna take us for everything we got. I got this, Jimmy. Trust me. Do you mean trust me, trust me, or f you trust me? The nice one. Cheech didn't lose it. Someone stole it. And I bet it was that Ming broad from Scorpion's Hive. That's classy. Blame the Asian. It's got nothing to do with being Asian and everything to do with being Cheech's ex-wife. How much more motive does she need? She's right. You know what they say, hell hath no flurry like a woman's corns. <laughs> Are we still in Canada? I don't see this campground anywhere on the map. If you're not on the map, the government can't find you and forcibly re-educate you with the lies of the Antichrist. I see. I'm just gonna retire to my tent for the rest of the weekend. Oh, we don't use tents. We're sleeping in old Archie Bunker here. Do me a favor, son. Take that bag of automatic weapons from the roof rack inside. <laughs> you don't mind if I call you son, do you? We're facing Armageddon together. That makes us family. Uh, what? I'll go set up a perimeter. Oh, darn, I forgot the razor wire. Oh, well, we'll have to rely on prayers and homemade frag mines to keep Satan away. Anna, I'm trying very hard not to freak out, but have I been kidnapped? Sorry. <laughs> Every few months, Mom and Dad drag me out here to wait for the end times. I couldn't face another rapture fail without someone rational to talk to. So you picked me? Oh, that's just great. <gasps> wait. You think I'm rational? That's the hottest thing a girl's ever said to me. Petey, you're downright logical. Ah. And don't worry about my family. They're nutty, but harmless. Petey, the Bible says it's an abomination for a man to lie with another man, so you can't sleep with me in the men's quarters. <laughs> Thankfully, it says nothing about black market assault rifles. <laughs> anyway, you'll be bunking with Anna. What a friend we have! In Jesus! All right, me and Jimmy will muscle that formula away from Ming. You gals go home and sync up your cycles. We're not sending two goons in to intimidate a small boned lady. It needs a woman's touch. Give me the formula, Toots, or I'll rip your freaking lips off! Jesus, Ma! What the hell, big crazy bitch, talking about? I'm talking Russian roulette with an automatic, unless you start singing. Oh, Ma, where the hell you been all my life? The formula's gotta be stashed around here someplace. She comes from a very crafty culture. Isn't that a little racist, Cheech? Talk to me when you've spent three weeks in a Chinese finger trap. Oh, God, that's strong. I feel like I've been maced. Nah, mace feels worse than this. See? Oh, damn it, Cheech! What the hell is wrong with you? I'm trying to illustrate a point. Ow! Daddy! <laughs> oh, my eyes! Still not as bad as mace, but... Oh! <laughs> P 
Finish up those K-rations, kids. They'll keep for 600 years, but they do get stale. How's that filtered urine, Petey? <laughs> ha! Someone just volunteered for first watch tonight. Petey, if anyone tries to get in, shoot first and beg the Lord's forgiveness later. <laughs> That's a joke. You won't need forgiveness for slaughtering whatever unholy abomination comes knocking. Oops, forgot the urine filter. I know this isn't what you expected, Petey, but once Mom and Dad go to sleep, maybe we can... Have a fumbling session of heavy commiserating about Ocean Lab? Very heavy. And very fumbling. Oh, God, you talk so sexy. Oh, there's plenty more inexperienced innuendo where that came from. Oh, no! You shot the urine filter! <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, O'Shea did it. That leprechaun always whines about not making enough money from the TV show. All right, thanks, Ming. Sorry I pointed a gun at your head. Oh, that's nothing compared to Canadian immigration. Oh! Oh! Teresa did it! That's just great. Now she's suing us, too. Way to go, Cheech. How is this in any way my fault? Going on that crazy TV show was Cookie's idea. Don't blame me, you sack of shit. Guys, guys, calm down. We all know this is Petey's fault. No, it's Ma and Pops for having a brainiac for a son. Yeah, if he was a moron like the rest of us, this would have never happened. I screw you guys. I'm gonna go talk to O'Shea myself. Unlike you idiots, I know how to get things done. You're supposed to blow up the other guy's car, Mr. Get Things Done. I'm telling you, Mokul, O'Shea's behind this. Are you suggesting the Premier is embroiled in some sort of spice neutralizer conspiracy? That's preposterous. So you're not gonna help us? Au contraire, Jimmy. I'll see this through to the end. My first step, spending nine hours on hold with your government-sponsored insurance company. For Canada, where no-fault liability means everyone gets screwed equally. The jig's up, O'Shea. We know about your problems with Scorpion's Hive. How'd you find out? Let's just say... Ming told us. She knows? After she swore I didn't talk in my sleep? You slept with my wife? Ah, we only cuddled. <gasps> with me penis in her. Son of a bitch! Who gives a sh**? You were married three days! I've only had this shirt three days. I still don't want him sticking his dick in it. Now give us what we want, O'Shea. Security, get in here. I've got some trash to take out. Oh, right, I'll crack a window. There's something I should tell you. My pop got enough money together to send me to Ocean Lab. <gasps> I thought we were sharing our mutual sorrows. But you were just practicing holding your breath. It's not like that, Anna. I just didn't know how to tell you. Dad warned me about privileged rich boys who try to take advantage of innocent girls. Try? No. Did? Yes. <laughs> but I like you, Anna. Yay! It's finally the apocalypse! That or it's a roving band of liberals seeking to feast on our Bibles and unborn babies. Don't be afraid to kill anyone, Petey. The Bible says it's okay more often than not. Play the numbers, son. Always play the numbers. You were right, Dad! Oh, Lord! Forgive me for tongue-kissing this heretic! <laughs> Wake up! Uh, I thought I told you girls to stay home. Aren't you glad we don't listen to you very often? Teresa followed O'Shea! He's meeting with Boyas! Come on! Whoa! One more step and I get a free coffee! Everything's coming up, Cheech! I'll have to see the money before I can commit to anything, you cheap, sleazy bastards. 
Oh, that's where my flashlight went. Not so fast, O'Shea. You're too late, you jackasses. It's done. You can't sell stolen property. <laughs> oh, God, listen to me. Yeah, right. <laughs> and violence never sold anything. <laughs> this is getting weird. The deal's off. Now oh, look what you did. You blew me chances. Screw you, O'Shea. That spice neutralizer recipe belongs to us. What the hell are you talking about, you giant bloody festering tit? I was about to sign a deal with a rival network for me own investment show, Piranha Creek. I thought you was trying to extort me. For what? If Scorpion's Hive found out about Piranha Creek before I jump ship, they'd gnaw the flesh off the deal's meaty bones. Wait, which one of you is the piranha? It's Canadian television, Jimmy. We all are. Oh, Christ. Now I'm stuck on that low-paying show. Hey, would you look at that? <laughs> look at that indeed. Tabby's mom is looking pretty fine. How do you like that, Petey? The Gupta family here was under the impression the age of Kali Yuga was ending. That's the Hindu apocalypse. Between you and me, these kooks put the mental in fundamental. Everyone knows the end of times is a Christian Armageddon. Sorry about the gunshot wound, Mr. Gupta. That's the thing with timeshare apocalypse bunkers. <laughs> They're affordable, but the scheduling's a pain in the rump. <laughs> I'll go take down the perimeter. I'm glad no one stepped on a frag mine. That could have been very messy. <laughs> Lucky I'm good at digging mass graves. Please, God, tell me that was a joke. It won't be one day. Anna, listen, I'm sorry I didn't tell you about Ocean Lab. And I'm sorry I called you a heretic. So, will I see you at school? No. Mom saw us making out, and now she wants to send me away until the baby comes. What? I know. But guess where they're sending me? I'm okay! A mine went off! Arm seems to be gone! If I pass out before we reach the hospital, be sure to refuse a transfusion! <laughs> Going somewhere, Toby? Ah! Ah! You've come for vengeance! Make it quick! Not the face! Open casket! Who's gonna rub mother's feet? Calm down! Pull yourself together! Thank you, Jimmy. I deserve that. A and probably that, too. Now you're just doing it for fun. Stop it, Jimmy. It's my turn. Ow! You Ow! stole my Ow! formula, didn't you? Yes, at the TV studio. I knew Jimmy would quit Regina Tourism once he got rich. <laughs> I couldn't face work without my best friend in the whole wide world. <laughs> Who? Me? But I had a change of heart and left the recipe in your car. Mom insisted on coming with me. It was too late to put out the fire, so I grabbed Mom, stopped, dropped, and rolled her, and we took off. But you saved the recipe, right? No, it went up with your car. Ah, great, I'm screwed. Thanks a lot, you stupid son of a bitch. Lucky it's easy to remember. Baking soda, flour, vanilla extract, and... A dash of cumin. I don't know why that was so hard to remember, Cheech. Oh, yeah? Go on, ask me. Which one's Frodo? I have your brand new SUV courtesy of Saskatchewan Government Insurance. <gasps> Canada's worst driver. I must have left it in gear. Put on a pot of coffee, Cookie. I'm going back on hold. Yo, Cook, I got Petey on Skype. I hate it here. I've been seasick for three weeks. Don't worry, Mr. and Mrs. McDougal. I'll take care of him. I hope you kids are being good down there under the sea. Well, Mrs. McDougal, I won't lie to you. Ah, getting screwed in a submarine. It's like he's in the Navy for real. <laughs>